what's up, guys? It's your boy, Rigel. It's your boy, Marius. It's Royce. Welcome back to another episode of the Chopping Up Podcast. As you can see, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we got Abby Chung. Abby hey. Chung. <laughs> so, Abby Chung, she teaches at Studio North. Let her yep. do it, mm-hmm. bro. Okay. No, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abby teaches at Studio North Wednesdays, seven thirty. Be there. Mm-hmm. Be square. Mm-hmm. You know why they say that? Because you're not around. Mm. Oh, I love it. Love it. Googie. I thought you'd get right angle. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? So. And that's that. That's that. Yeah. That. I yeah. Mean, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Tell us about oh, yourself. Uh, your parents clearly don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm Abby. Jeez. I. Yeah. That's that's really it. I'm just me. Mm. What that, do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Is that's that weird. is that appropriate? Yeah. I mean, I. I'm a dancer, a choreographer. I love that. But I think overarching, I'm just an artist. And mm. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just human. Picasso, I'm just, I like I'm just me. I'm Abby. <laughs> yeah. What's your ethnicity, by the way? Oh, great question. I'm sure everybody's wondering. Yeah, I'm... Wait, can we guess? Actually, yeah, go for it. I know, so... Like, half half Chung. Is that Mm -hmm. like That's a Chinese last name, right? Am Mm -hmm. I wrong? Throws you off, though. It does. Yeah. So it's not Chinese. (laughs) 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 That's actually throwing me off, bro. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, halfway, half Japanese, but, like, Mm -hmm. Chung's the last name. So, Mm -hmm. like, Chinese, halfway, half Chinese. Mm Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, no. Stop her right now. I'm not bad. No, no, no. <laughs> totally fine, though. I think I look very ambiguous. I'm I actually... would have guessed the same thing, though. Yeah. yeah. 100% would have guessed. Halfway, I thought, half yeah. I thought, I thought, yeah. No, yeah. Chinese. <laughs> I'd say Japanese. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm. I, like, I like that. Um, <laughs> I'm half Persian. Mm. Yeah, see, that's mm. what threw me off. I was like, yeah. oh, really? Where'd the chunk come from? Yeah, great question. I'm a quarter Portuguese. Okay. And then Where I'm like going? an eighth Chinese. Okay. So it is there. Okay. It's just not prominent. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. where the chunk comes from. Yeah. Damn. Okay. But so hey, you're... you are very. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. going to give me yeah, thousands, no. but she's no. like, yeah, no. <laughs> Got the Chinese part right, but. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I would have said Japanese. You look very halfway half Japanese. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You look very, like, Japanese. not Filipino. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would have gotten that wrong. I People would say I look Filipino. No, I can see that. Yeah, I, I can see that. You're very fair skinned, that's why. Yeah. yeah. You know, that like, means I feel Filipinos. like me and Rigel look God very damn. Filipino. Yeah, we're very Filipino. Yeah. yeah. We make an industry. Hey. Okay, then do it then. Vice Ganda <laughs> type beat, bro. Vice Ganda, if you don't know. I don't you know. know. Vice Ganda is like just very, like, what? She's, she's very flamboyant. Fair, she's very um, uh, fair skinned as well. Yeah. 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 Artista. yeah. Mm. Very uh, outspoken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of industry, we know that you've been uh, a part of a uh, lot of projects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Talk what, about yo, tell that. Us. Yeah. What have yeah. you been a part of? Like, uh, like a bit. I I have just been a part of some projects that <laughs> fuel my soul. Let's just put that. Okay. Mm, okay. Some feel the some soul. good things and that the pockets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> brought out more of me. Mm. Yeah, what What are that? some of the your favorite ones? If mm. you could talk about that, I loved. I think when I was fifteen, mm-hmm. literally a child, mm-hmm. I danced with Janet. Oh, that wow. is like Janet God. Jackson, guys. Defos, but it, I, everyone and their moms also did it too. So it's not. Yeah. Mm. But, but still, like, God, that's, that's crazy. still that's. I couldn't crazy. imagine that's sharing crazy, the stage bro. with yeah. Janet Jackson. Yeah. How does that feel, yeah. bro? Yeah, I, I think I was really young, so mm. I think if I had that op- opportunity now, it'd be very different. Yeah. Mm. But at the time, I think just doing live performance in that way mm. really established like you this is what this. I want to do. Oh. Yeah, this wow. is what like really fuels me. Was Were you like a fan? Yeah. Were you a fan of Janet before? I, I was, but I'm even a bigger fan now. now. So that's okay. why of I think like it comes with maturity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of and course. I understood more of her journey and like mm-hmm. who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's like up there for sure. Was that what started the whole like wanting to be part of the industry and wanting to do more things like that? I think it made it a reality. Mm. It made it real. I think it's always been rooted in me that I wanted to do this. Mm. But until mm. I think you're given an opportunity like that, you're like, oh, I can do it. Like mm-hmm. it yeah. actually that's is. Facts. And all an your fears are just kind of like get thrown out the window. Uh-huh. And you're just like, fuck it, let's do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, I do that 15, yeah. Bro. Yeah, yeah, for real. I, was, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, that was that no, me too. <laughs> it was a part of it was luck too. Um, yeah, but you know, look. 
<laughs> have y'all ever seen Abby Abby's classes at North? Oh my bro? gosh, it's yeah. crazy. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm keeping a beam with you. I will never take a class. I, I cannot. I can. I can. I'm too scared. Like, I am I not athletic, still, but... flexible. You Yo, know, I, hear you. I don't have the I technique. Hear you. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. the technique in Abby's I class lack, is just. Hundred percent. I would I hear lack. You. And I do very actually often receive this, um, but you never know until you do it. Mm. Uh, we'll try know. one. We'll go yeah. one. Well, all I'll, of us I'll will let go you know one. Give us a little. Give us a little. You tone it down, down a little. little bit? I know people are like you should really tone it down, and I'm like, no, don't tone it down to anybody else. No, no, no. But yeah, that's yeah. There's like certain people that I'm like, and I don't dance no more, so that's just gonna be even more rough. Yeah, but I do hear you, and I do understand how you feel. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go crazy on that shit. I'll go. I'll go full out. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll attend as if I'm on stage. Yeah. yeah. I support yeah. it. I support yeah. it. What got everyone into dance? Well, did we talk about that? Have you guys? No, we sure? didn't talk about what, that. What, what was that thing? Did Can you we guys... open this first though? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, thirsty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm. Re- I was looking. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Yeah. Parched. Yeah. Parched. Quenched. Quenches after. Quenched. Abby's not drinking today. She's responsible, guys. Be responsible. I'm a responsible human. I'm irresponsible. Me? I can be responsible <laughs> sometimes. You're not gonna cheers. You're not gonna read nothing, bro. You He's are. You know how thirsty. You know how thirsty. You are parched, bro. Yeah. bro. Yeah. Cheers. What is it, bro? Mary's read it, bro. After you. Uh, cheers, you cheers, cheers to you first. This also matches Abby's jacket, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. Great so choice. She's with us in spirit. Know? I don't know. I just Your got intuition. this like really like chakra vibe mm-hmm. that I was really chakra. channeling. Mm-hmm. The energy in the air, just <laughs> like, you know. I felt it. Mm-hmm. That's why. Um, yeah. So today, <laughs> we are trying out a new drink, the Muddlers Vodka Lemonade. This is the second Muddlers we have. Pink Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, looks yeah. good. Is what it do good? you guys? You tasted it. Taste it. What do you think? It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah. It's pretty so, good though. Is it? Yeah. I'm like just. I yeah, know. it's just like, like something you get from like Red Robins. I like the pink mm. lemonade. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's you know? very basic. I feel yeah. Like. This is this what you I mean, like? It is pink. It is. Yeah, pink you pink. you go back yeah. and like, can I get this? What is it? What's the other freckle one? Lemonade. The freckle lemonade instead. This one not hitting the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just kind of like on it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I would say this is perfect going into like the summer. I know seasons are sl- starting to change. Like yeah. you want to get situated into like the parties just starting. This gives me very house party vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. house party vibes. Like very like. Yeah. Gross house party vibes. Gross house party. Like when there's too many people and you don't know half of them. That yeah. kind of party. People vibes. randomly pulling up with their shoes on. Yeah, and it's just mm. like, who are people you? People don't like, know if it's a if it's a house shoe party on. or a non house shoe party. Yeah, yeah. You gotta know the difference. Take off bro. your shoes. That's guys. a red. That's a red flag, bro. Come into a party with a guy with shoes. <laughs> yeah. <on, bro>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. If you were on a date and you brought someone to a house party, you shouldn't do that. By the way, just don't do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if you did and they didn't take off their shoes, would you? Would you like? That's a red flag, bro. I think I'd be like, "How were you raised?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but because actually, some... it's a very Asian thing, though. Yeah, yeah it's a very I, Asian I think thing. there's actually some cultures that are like, "Yeah, yeah, come on in with your shoes on." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but um, mm-hmm, not. You gotta keep the house clean, like. Yeah, yeah and you gotta clean up more. Shoes on carpet, bro. Okay. People mm-hmm. are wearing shoes on the carpet. Okay, I, okay. I understand. Hardwood, maybe. Yeah, if hardwood. it's hardwood, the whole. Like house mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Carpet, <laughs> yeah. That's red, a flag, red flag. Yikes. Red flag. That's a motherfucking red flag. But y'all didn't answer my question yet. Bro. Okay, what's your question? question? What got you guys it. into oh, dancing? Right. Like, um, mm. I'll, I'll start it off. Okay. okay. Yeah. So two movies specifically. Oh yeah, you got, you got served, served and stomped the yard. Stomp the yard. Yeah. Those yeah. two. Not, you didn't like. You didn't fuck with like Step Up. It is. Uh, no, so that came later. It came later. Yeah, and um, Step Up is like all like and the Chris Step Brown like, Yo video. Like. 06, 08. Oh, I love Yo. Oh, okay. 06 to 08. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one? Uh, the Yo video with Chris Brown. Mm, yeah, all the classic um, yeah. music early videos back Y2K in the day. When he's like 16. The Y2K music videos just hit different. That's what I'm saying, bro. Damn, the Step Up, the Step Up videos too. The Step Up movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. Step Up movies. Which one? The uh, hard, the, fir- the first the one. First one. That's with Channing. I really yeah. like the second one. The first one. When Moose comes and in. The second oh, one. second one. And like the water scenes. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I love that one. Yeah. I, cause I, I only yeah. saw yeah. like Stomp the Yard and like You Got Served like a little bit later. Really? Yeah. Like a little. You didn't bit grow later. up on that. Nah, like, I didn't, dude. But I used to get make fun of like dancing, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, especially uh, as a guy, I, right? Yeah. Like, watch, then? Then watch the step up videos, bro. 
Like, the this movie, is cool. I'm going crazy. Right. I'm going crazy. Like, damn, these guys getting hella yeah. girls, bro. Like, yeah, damn, yeah. Uh-huh. Hella uh-huh. girls. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah. And then I start. I started watching like Stomp the Yard and like, uh, you got served, bro. And yeah. then Chris Brown with the little little tank. Gee, the little tank tank spin on the elbow. Oh yeah, that shit got me crazy, classic, bro. Classic. I wanted classic. to be put on the gloves. Yeah, yeah, put on the <laughs> the gloves, bro. And then yeah, yeah. then you got shot. Bah. Yeah, and then you got shot. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually sad that he didn't. He wasn't in the rest of the movie because, like, you probably take it over. Cameo, bro. Yeah, it was a sick cameo. Yeah. How about you? Um, I what's it called? I would always watch Michael Jackson videos. Those are really good. And I was really like into like Michael Mm -hmm. Jackson impersonations. You know, at the Filipino parties. Oh, classic. Like when like your parents make you dance in front of all their family Mm -hmm. friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like that type of video. I'll just pull out the Michael Mm -hmm. Jackson. Like everybody's impressed. Really? Mine was mine was a coffee grinder. Where? Coffee Uh, grinder. Okay. That was my shit. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) On the table. Uh I can't do that shit no more. Yeah. It was was always like, I'm not. Do the dancing for your Tito and Tita. Come on, I pay yeah. for your dance classes. Why well, you don't want to do it, huh? Yeah. I pay for all this. You and don't want to go. And you just come up with whatever, bro. There's like almost no music. Like, yeah. There's no music. There's no ever. music. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even play music. There's a bunch you. of Titas and Titos looking at you. Go, 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 go. <laughs> or somebody play it off their phone. You can barely hear it, but you just gotta do it anyways. <laughs> like, that's, like what to, hap- that's what happens. Or it's to like a random like line dancing. Oh yeah. 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 That they takes make a lot it, of courage, honestly, yeah. and a lot of belief in yourself. Yeah. Maybe that's where mm. we get it from. Or a lot of mm-hmm. pressure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Abby, I feel like you've been dancing for a minute. Yeah. When did you start? Yeah. I feel like you, you're one of those like two to three year olds. I'm one of those, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Um, I can sense enough. it. Like classically trained type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ballet. Mm. Ballet, be content. Yeah. Um, my mom actually is a belly dancer. Mm-hmm. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. I know. She's she's killing it. Um, And she put me in dance. Oh, that's the Persian young. side. Mm-hmm. Mm. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. Yeah. It was almost like even... Yeah, it's like more traditional than it is suggestive. <laughs> you yeah, know, because yeah. belly dancing can look quite suggestive, but mm-hmm. it's actually, um, it has like really deep cultural roots. Mm. That's cool. So then, um, mm-hmm. yeah, she put <laughs> <laughs> she put um, me in dance when I was really young. Mm-hmm. Just because it's like familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Into belly dancing. Someone would yell at her for that. Probably my grandma. But um, yeah. And then actually funny enough, it wasn't until I did like a year end show mm-hmm. that Alex saw dancing and then got into dance then. Wow. So technically he danced after me. Oh, yeah. Later. Alex, Alex is wow. your, your brother, right? Yeah. He's yeah, like yeah, really yeah. big in I LA didn't, right now. You know, yeah, I, when yeah, I first yeah. met you, I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 We're, we're I think we're quite different. But yeah. Um, yeah. So since I was really young and then the whole family just became a dance family. Damn. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So low key, Alex bit Abby. Mind. Yeah. I'm Chad. Yeah. Just know that. Know that. Exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Title yeah. alert. Yeah, Alex, Alex, if you're watching. Bit. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Family. Family fight. Yeah, your brother's like doing big things right now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah and you're on your way up. You about to do some crazy things Thank too. Thank you. Yeah. Abby is up. Oh. Abby is killing it right now. We are. We are trying. We are doing the best <laughs> that we can. And by we, I mean me, myself, and I. Yeah. <laughs> I love so it. So, how's the industry life? It's ugh, it's such a blessing, I think. Because I feel like mm. our outside perspective mm. in, of industry. Yeah, what is your perspective? That's that, actually, I'm curious it's about It's very, that. like, I don't know. It's very, like, like audition every day. Yeah. I mean, we know, like, a little bit from our mm-hmm. homie Michael DeLeva, right? So, yeah. like, it's, like, early mornings, late nights, mm-hmm. and then just grinding auditions every day. And, like, also taking, like, classes on, like, acting or, like, dancing yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's all we see. So, yeah. like, what do, what do you guys, like, actually experience? Yeah, in my personal opinion, you have to always be on your game. Mm. So that's where the grinding comes from. Like, Mm. that's where you're like, I have to be on my training. I have to be on my acting. I have to be on my special skills and this and that and that. So that when the job opportunity comes your way, it's solid. Like, Mm. yeah, you're there. Yeah, it's yours. Um, Mm. So, yeah, that's where the grinding comes from. People choose to do that Mm -hmm. if they want to. Um. But yeah, I think the people around you that you see are in that phase, which is so great. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, once you're working, you're just you're working, you're enjoying. It's it's some of it's really um, physically demanding, right? Because mm-hmm. you're like on your you're dancing for like X amount of hours a day. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, for the most part, it's genuinely like this is what we work for our mm-hmm. whole lives. Yeah. So, what's yeah. a Whatever. common misconception that people think of when they think industry? <laughs> if there is any. 
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let her think. Misconception. I don't know. I don't know. I think... Like, I think a misconception is one of those things that you form mm -hmm. when you're not actually in it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't actually know. Wait, when do you yeah. start in the industry, then? Oh, 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 I see. <laughs> do you? Well, I just, I guess I just didn't have a misconception. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't want to believe anything that was negative about it. Mm, yeah. I was always so, like, was yeah, 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 yeah. oh, this is going to be so epic. Yeah, I, I don't know if misconceptions just like it's chill, it's fun, yeah. it's this. But the, yeah, there's a lot of hard work that goes behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah, um, there's a lot of things that like happen behind closed doors that get mm -hmm. you, like to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, nothing's really maybe been, like, maybe it's like, it's actually harder than it looks. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like cause yeah. building on that, like yeah. people see like oh a pretty face and then boom movie boom movie yeah or like you see someone random like get like. Wow, this person's really attractive, and they go all over social media. Yeah, and then they're on a TV show. Like, oh, it's expected. I think mm. something that I always used to That's think is like, is like, I could do that. That's so easy. That's what I'm saying. Like, with you the know dances what I mean? and shit. Like all that. All like, that. When they dance, I'd like, always say that. Any dance yeah. scene, like High School Musical. Pfft. Yeah. Like, I mean, what? It's High school. Yeah, yeah. like work. But then, <laughs> yeah. like you, yeah. like get to that stage or whatever, or like, yeah. you try it out, and it's just, it's harder yeah. than it looks. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Some some people. Some people can get really lucky. Like, mm -hmm. you're right. There are some people that work that had just things work out for them mm -hmm. that other people just, like, didn't handed have. To them. Yeah, but, I mean, again, like, everyone like, works for something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. some people just have to fight a little bit harder. Yeah. Mm. Um, and that's been something, like, some things have came to me really, like, easy flowing. And mm -hmm. some things came to me really difficult. So mm -hmm. it really just depends on the job. Um, although, yes, if you do look great, I think you're more, there's probably more people that are open to your look mm. for you to work, you know? Mm. Yeah. Um, I like, I'm not going to say that it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. yeah. but I will say that it, it doesn't, yeah. Yeah. it's not something that's on it, like every yeah. job and you don't have to be beautiful to work. Yeah. yeah. In but it's just a little bit more, you know, desired yeah. because I, when you look at it, like you're, you're putting a pretty face on a TV show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm but like there's also like niche looks that people yeah, have. 100%. You know I mean? yeah 100 yeah. percent. yeah yeah like the, oh the nerdy guy yeah you're perfect but the like, thing you know is I mean? like yeah the amount of like bookings for that niche look is, yeah isn't it's, as much yeah. as, it's very specific yeah, yeah. yeah. like so it's a very specific look right? exactly if you're yeah. generally like phenomenal looking mm -hmm. you're gonna generally be put yeah. forward for a lot of work yeah. right but and also just to reiterate though like you don't it exists but it's not it doesn't rule the system. Mm. Like, it doesn't. That's good. Yeah, it's not like they'll choose someone. Just I don't know. Over I don't know how to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think in Vancouver, especially, like there's such there's room for everyone to grow and shine. Mm. Whereas the when you go to LA, it's so. Com I mean, it's. I think it's just heightened competitiveness, if that mm. makes sense. Because there's okay, so many more. Yeah, because everyone, yeah, everyone so goes out people. to LA to make it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Which means there's like 20 people that look like you, not just four. Um, yeah. 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 Damn. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. I never thought about it like that. I want to know, <clears throat> since you're like a really high skilled dancer, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my best. Yeah, you're a very high skilled. <laughs> okay, stop being modest. You're a very <laughs> high skilled dancer, right? So when you get <laughs> when you get on a set, yeah, and you start learning dances, mm -hmm. do you ever be like, damn, this shit is so easy. Like this shit, this shit. <laughs> I okay. So if that were to come across, mm. I am actually so happy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> work for you. Yeah, yeah let's work for you. Off. <laughs> if if I don't have to bust a sweat for ten hours straight, mm -hmm. it's I'm gonna get. Paid regardless. paid regardless yeah so like if something damn. comes easy my way is so i'm like great i can kill it mm. i can super kill it yeah. if something comes my way that's like deanna maddos and i'm on a job yeah. i'm gonna be stressed wait, wait, like yeah. i'm gonna be so wait, wait, stressed wait, wait, what did you say deanna maddos what is that oh okay oh my What's gosh that? you don't know no. we got, we got some catch up she's an amazing choreographer yeah she's like uh um, you know like gina michaels like yeah that, yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they plays yeah. like those yeah 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 they're all up there. or that's let's say in other words like kelvin like i think kelvin's movement or adrian like their movement is so complex mm. that if they threw that on me on set <laughs> i would be like oh my god okay yeah mm. you gotta like go, oh, okay, I gotta okay, really, okay. Gotta go home I practice really get this okay. under my brush belt up mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So taking up what you're putting down dance it professionally yeah. okay, okay. in two hours mm. where if something comes to me really light i'm like sick 
Light work. Right there and yeah. then, you're you got it. Like Sick. film yeah. now, right? Like <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it. I'm ready. Like <laughs> I think it is quite an interesting point. Watching on the outside, looking at shows, you can be like, oh, I can do that. Just, yeah. Sign me yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that side too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not that good of a dancer, but I'm like, damn, that shit. <laughs> yeah, let's put you in. When you that shit. <laughs> yeah. In the yeah. bag. Just yeah. run it, bro. <laughs> yeah. That shit like work. Yeah. Also, for the record, for all you three to know, too, I'm pretty, I'm still fairly new to the industry, though. Too. Really? I, I feel like you, like, from what I've been seeing outside perspective, I feel like you've been in it since, like, you were yeah. 10. Or it something. seems like I've you've been doing this. I, like, I have Yeah, been. I will say. I have been, but there's a different level of the kind of work in Vancouver. Mm. There's a different level of it. And so that I'm actually pretty new to. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. So what's the difference between, like, Vancouver work and, like, other work? Imagine, like, Disney productions versus independent productions. Mm. I could... I, I can oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that you don't know. Don't okay, know. Yeah, I, I can't like, imagine. Like, yeah. It's Shit, like it works, you works. putting on a music video <laughs> mm-hmm. versus Paramount. Oh. Creating oh, TV I see. Show. Okay. So they're okay. like, they're different playing fields. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'm, I definitely have a ton of experience in the independent, independent realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's... Because growing up in Edmonton, that, yeah, was, makes that sense. was the work, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But then, yeah, tra- coming now to Vancouver, yeah. it's totally... It's it's just hi- it's just more like it's yeah. Mm-hmm. How long have you been here in Van? I've been here about a year. Oh, what the? That's what I'm saying, right? Wait, what? She told me that yeah. earlier, and I, I, feel, I was I like, feel like you've been here three years, four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had a small chunk when I was here in 2019. Yeah, but it's like I wasn't <laughs> even here. It, yeah, I was. I wasn't actually really here. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Wow. So you were in, you were in in uh, LA for a bit, right? Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. What would you do out there? Live. Just like live, like just train show. my butt oh. off. That's where I think I actually learned how to dance, dance. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. you didn't, weren't like on like jobs or anything. You were just like kind of can't not without a visa. Oh really? Yeah. You need so a I was living visa. there. So you were straight up just like trying to live out the just LA training. life. Just yeah. yeah. I was just experiencing just, it. Just experiencing. Spent like it was. Well, uh, if we want to go down, um, I had a grant to actually. Mm-hmm. Move to LA and yeah. pursue dance. Mm-hmm. So there, I was financially independent, mm-hmm. and this is when I was like eighteen too. So this was like wow. fresh out of high school. I just wow. was like, you just by yourself. Well, thankfully my brother lived there, so I oh, wasn't okay, like yeah, perfect. Oh, there you go. But by I yourself, did live yeah. by myself though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, if anything went wrong, I you just yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd been there for a minute, and then came back here, and then went back there. And then mm. now I'm here. So, so they paid you to go train out there mm. in LA. I got an X amount of dollars mm-hmm. to go there and spend it on training and living there and dancing. And mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Which is out there. How did that? How did that? You need yeah. So there's actually a lot of grants and a lot of funding for that. you. Also for Shoot. this, like you guys could get oh, really? funding and grants. Really. For this. Uh huh. People don't know okay. about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next yeah. episode, we in that. LA. Next, uh, I love yeah, that. we're gonna talk about grants and how you can get funded to do what you want. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of there's if you really deep dive, mm-hmm. what you want is so it's there as long as you just like are searching for it always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So did Damn. you go out and search for it, or did someone like kind of like come forward with you and? Oh no, I searched for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I searched for yeah. it, and wow. this grant took a lot of. Yeah. Even like multiple tries actually yeah mm. but then it set me up like it's it's still paying off to this day so oh like, real? Yeah. Wow. oh yeah of course yeah. yeah all that training like it just stays with you mm-hmm. right like so if we go for the grant that's three times <laughs> three, three <laughs> times <laughs> yeah. More. yeah three times you more apply, possibility you apply, you apply, it I takes more than, yeah that's, a, that's three times each nine times yeah, yeah, you have to yeah. take us one Chances time well, out of yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're winning the lottery someday like you guys get a grant for like for this though because this is still an art field right? yeah like podcasts mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. talking to artists even like this is education I, mean, <laughs> I don't know about this education Jeez. But, um like there's a realm for you guys to also be 100 percent funded and you in whatever you wanted to do yeah, yeah. You, you guys look into that if you guys dig deep that. and find yeah. what you want to do because you can we've pay all for learned it. something new today. <laughs> Individual. Like, I'm saying, bro, what if we get flown out to LA, go out there, that's and, like, so in the I didn't know they yeah, did so that. Bad. I'm gonna start like, looking for the grant like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a like somebody like the government or something? Government. The government yeah, does so it. Oh, real. In Alberta, mm-hmm. it was oh, yeah wow. the oh, Alberta government Foundation does? for the Arts. Mm. You can get a grant up a grant up to fifteen grand to just go live your best life. 
Well, actually, sorry, pay? no, you have to work. You we, don't need, work we don't need to pay yeah. We don't need to pay Sha anything out, right? Mm. Nothing. No, no, That's you just... Like, you just got to do what you're doing. You got to get your application right, and then you got to compete with it, with other people, and then you got to mm. be the top mm. and get it. We mm. are... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's like work. So that yeah, means yeah, you guys yeah. gotta keep liking and subscribing <laughs> and following and on commenting our commenting on the <laughs> sharing the post. So you guys insane, gotta do that, bro. You might... <laughs> As yeah, Mary dude. said last time, yeah. fucking comment, man. Fucking, <laughs> fucking comment, comment, guys. Uh, like, <laughs> what should they comment about? Which what's a comment they should that they should? Hmm. What do we want to ask them about? We what should we ask them? We already asked <laughs> the other questions from last week. But we're gonna ask you. Okay. So, can exes still be friends? I'm right, gonna run down this real quick. Yeah. This, from last week, if you guys watched last yeah, week's yeah, episode, yeah. this is bringing our... it back just to have a female perspective. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, which yeah. I think is actually really important. Too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 We always get questions or like questions, and then they're gonna, they're always like, "But I think you should have a female guest on when you yeah, ask this so question," funny. and we're like. Okay, <laughs> I guess so. I, we have to now. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll say this: in a perfect world, mm-hmm. yes. Like, mm-hmm. I think world differences aside, there's a way to make things work. Mm-hmm. But there, I also fully acknowledge just complications, and like, yeah. not everyone can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not everyone can figure mm-hmm. it out. So mm-hmm. in my in Abby's world, uh-huh, yes. just say no already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I also understand that's not the case for everyone. Yeah. So we're gonna go with a hard no. She, yeah. So she hit us with a depends. <laughs> with I, a yeah, depends. I think I really did. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I want to say personally yes. Yeah. But I understand. If you if, yeah. If it no. can't. So yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Hey, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Teach I think girl. it's it's about fifty fifty. Like Royce put a poll up, and it was. Pretty much 50 50. Nah, you can't say you won that, bro. <laughs> nah, it was 52 I think a win is like <laughs> over dubs. 60. Uh, yeah. that was a 4% 4%. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're you know? building on what Take you said. a test. We'll give it to you. We'll yeah. give it to yeah, you. It's a dub. We'll give it to you. <laughs> no, it's a dub. Yeah. We'll give it to you. Always building on what you're saying, Abby, I, I, yeah. I'm in the same boat as you, mm-hmm. even though my answer is no. Mm-hmm. Just because um, I was saying that Marius's experiences with his ex had come to the conclusion to why I'm he said shit again, yo. Marius's, and... Marius's definition of friends is very loose. It's very loose. I'm saying it's wider than the Pacific Ocean. That shit is <laughs> loose. Okay, I, I, I can honestly say, yeah, I'm friends with my ex. Like, no, you're yeah. an acquaintance, bro. It's how, very how loose. Long, be friends with my ex. How no, long has it been? Fr- your friends. Sorry? Is, how long has it been? Uh, like high school, like so, like wow. five, six years okay. ago. And so, where are you in terms of your? Like, where are you in terms of your getting over phase? Like, are you fully over it? Yeah, like, she's just she's just another girl. Cool, yeah, 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 another girl as in an saying. acquaintance. Yeah, it's Phenomenal. another girl, like an acquaintance. Phenomenal. No, Phenomenal. but your like... Friend, your friend definition is very loose. <laughs> it's very okay. loose. You look at you look at anyone that's in a group of friends, a friend. But you know there's some people in a If group. I'm having a conversation with another person <laughs> and He's over they, it. Bring <laughs> up, they bring up her name, I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah, she's my friend, like... You know what oh, I mean? I'm not gonna be yeah. like I'm not yeah. gonna be like yo. Perfect, yeah, I know her. Scenario. She's my acquaintance. Like no one really says. Nobody says no, that. That's no, what no one. Yeah, no one says like, hey, you're an acquaintance to me. No, no, no one, one says, says that. that right? But yeah. yeah, but there's a there's a like a line in your head. There's a border where like, okay, this person is an acquaintance. But if she really was like that, I would have just been like, yeah, I know her. That ended at that. Yeah, very this, this is, but it's this more is than that. You know what I mean? I can, you know. Mm-hmm. This is the ideal. Yeah. It's the ideal case scenario. But that's go. why I said mm-hmm. like the, it's depending it's on your depending, situation. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. How you de- dealt with your ending of the I relationship think, I think is the important. question is, are we capable of being friends with our exes? And I think the answer is yes. <laughs> It wasn't. It was I know, but I'm saying there's no capabilities in the something. But I'm saying there's no capabilities. That's, I think that's what the, the question, question was. Can you be friends with your ex? There was no. Ca- <laughs> that, we don't have that. the capabilities to be friends. Really with that. I'm saying. I'm thinking <laughs> that's where the question's going now. No, though. it's not going mm. nowhere. Okay, it's boys, a black you, and white. Okay, so of your <laughs> of your exes, yeah. are have you been able to be friends or absolutely? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said that's what I'm saying. So, okay, answer me this. Fuck no. Is, are you, are, is there like some, 
is there some bitterness that is residing in you that like won't fuck oh, yeah <laughs> see, there you go <laughs> but see okay. that's the thing so like that's so that's i think that's almost that's again that's the case scenario. it's fair it's yeah. fair yeah. Yeah. yeah it's fair yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. For What's the next on. question? <laughs> so these two can keep battling over this all day. What's, it's what's the next question? You you got it. Oh, I, got bro, it. I don't got the, I got the <laughs> iPad, bro. I don't know. Is it? Well, this one's like not really towards. I, yeah, I guess. I yeah, guess this we one couldn't you can't really, really answer. Ask. Yeah. This one. Okay, so, maybe maybe. I'm gonna go for the other one. No, no, no. Okay, so uh-huh. the question was like your boy or or what? Mm. Your man? The boys or the girls? Or the girls? Or in this case, are you choosing me or your friends? Yeah. So if I if I had cho- <laughs> like let's say I, yeah. let's say you had a boyfriend and you asked them is it me or the boys right mm-hmm. and they chose the boys how would you feel I would just be like cool I like you ten percent less Only really ten yeah. percent but it's because you know it's facts you know, it's, you know it's facts that the boys the boys are different yeah. yeah 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 but when it's when they choose me over the boys you know he's lying i like them 10 percent more oh, really? mm. yeah I, it's almost like hmm like okay i just get either a little hurt or i get a little but like, it's not oh, a deal breaker though oh, yeah, no no, 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 no not deal breaker. okay but if Perfect. it's if it happens a lot okay then yeah, i'll yeah. be like you don't actually i don't think you actually prioritize me yeah and then that's get that gets my better. girlfriend said she's like <laughs> she was like, I don't ask you because I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. that's fair. That's she fair. knows exactly where it's going, bro. Awkward yeah. situation. So let's yeah. say you and your uh, significant other are mm-hmm. are going through a rough patch right now. Mm-hmm. And you were to ask, okay, now I need you to choose between me or your friends. Mm-hmm. And that, in that perspective, what, mm-hmm. what you're you? going through? If we're time? going through, if I am or he is or we both, are. you guys, both of you, like it's a mutual, you guys are mutual rough heads, patch. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing: if That's they need a if hard. they need a breather, mm-hmm. then I would I would go to the boys. Like, if you mm-hmm. need a breather, if this is gonna help our relationship, mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. But if actually being together is gonna help our relationship, then stay. What like, determines think, that though? I think determines where they're at. Like, if yeah. I can read you and I'm like, you mm-hmm. need a second. Yeah. I don't. It doesn't I guess it just though. depends on like if so like, you need time for yourself. Guy, yeah. yeah. Like or both yeah. of you. Mm-hmm. Like if she needs time for herself, then mm-hmm. choose the boys because mm-hmm. she needs time chi- mm-hmm. time for herself. Mm-hmm. So. But I think actually instinctively I would want them to. St- to stay or at mm-hmm. least to stay with me so we can figure it out yeah mm-hmm. if they're always avoidant then I'm or like, is that because it, in the level of relate in, in your relationship mm-hmm. you would have a level of communication with each mm-hmm. other so yeah. let's say if he wasn't communicative with you mm-hmm. you're trying to always figure him out at that mm-hmm. point would you be like if he was a bad communicator yeah. i would not i would not be there <laughs> I like that though. No, yeah. Brush up on your communication, yeah. guys. That's what I'm saying. Because That's what I'm saying. it's one of those things like if it's an issue, mm-hmm. it's it's gonna be a long like it's gonna mm-hmm. be a long, rough journey. Yeah. If we can't communicate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's important though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm crack open this, by the way, yeah, okay, crack yeah, open. let's do that before yeah. we get to the next question. Wow, you guys went that was fast. Yeah. yeah. Alright, before I <laughs> open this. Easy. I know. Another new drink. Natural flavors. Um good times, gin and tonics. <laughs> Uh, cinnamon pear flavoring. That's weird. Yeah, it really is. It I just we'll try it out for you guys though. Yeah, it smells weird. Really? It smells it's, weird. I wish you could like try it with us. Grass. It's out of my eye. <laughs> so she it said. You. It smells like grass. <laughs> it smells, what? It smells like grass. Oh, it really does. <laughs> it smells like grass. <laughs> no, it smells like. Kind of smells oh, like grass. It smells like mint. It smells like mint. oregano mint. oil. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, do you guys? Yeah. No, yeah. Oregano. Yeah. Oregano. Uh, it smells like an essential oil. No way. Bro. I took a little sip. No way. Like, because there was a little thing no, on the no, top. No, no, no. I thought you, I thought you did that because it was gross. Is it gross? Is it no, good? like, I, I it took a little... Oh, I don't care, bro. I'm saying it's yeah, gross. I'm going to take a sip. Take oh, a sip. Cheers, it was cheers, not cheers, good. Cheers. It's not good? No. <laughs> Damn, that's not good. Well, I just took a little sip, though. Okay, well, look. That is ass, my guy. <laughs> Yo. What is it? <laughs> Ooh. That's, Yo, give that's, us the other one. That's not mm. a good combo, bro. What, what actually, wait. I actually think... Hold on. Here. Maybe you gotta keep drinking. Okay, it. guys. I think I might have to put this down oh. to the side Snap. and not drink it. Cause wow, that's a, just, chopping it up first. It's not good, guys. 
It's not a good time. It's not a good time. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's not a good time. Unfortunately, the name didn't do it justice. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go no. the other one. You, do you guys want the yeah, other one too? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be a trooper and I'm gonna try to finish this. Okay, because I, I paid for it, you know. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. tastes. It's it tastes we'll finish it one day. It does yeah. taste like oregano oil. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe there's oregano oil. But give me the extra one nah. in case. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Maybe yeah. there's oregano oil. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right, Abby. <laughs> Yo, no disrespect, good times, but that shit is ass. This no, is not good, full, guys. Full disrespect to you. Don't for buy that this. Yeah, bro. Who? Yeah. It looked good though. It does look kind of good. It looks fire. Like, you, can, look, it has even the time, bro. The can, the logo, the sunset. That shit looks crazy. Bro. It looks good. Whoever's in charge of the flavors deceiving. of that shit, you are dumb. Maybe it's made for vegans. Full di- no, maybe full di- it, it doesn't make say sense. sugar. Oh, it's sugar free. Yeah, that's cane sugar. Maybe it's made for some healthy. Yeah, people. full disrespect 100%. to you, whoever's drinking good times. That's a bad time. <laughs> it's, a bad, <laughs> it's not good. Good times, not a good time. It. Not to hate on vegans, but you know when like certain things. Yeah, are yeah. And it's like yeah. more healthy. Beyond meat burger. Apparently, those are good. Though. I, I like okay, it, yo. Actually, I, hold I, I brought. Hold on. Oh, I brought. Oh. I, Hold up, I brought this it, shit up. It, it sparked something in them. I brought this shit up. I brought this shit up. Like, Beyond Meat uh, Burger? Yeah, with my, uh, with my girlfriend. I was like, are you, yeah. are you, do you have any diet restrictions or anything like that? No. Okay, no. I was like okay. this. I was like this. Right? So you eat good then? Yeah, I was like this. I eat. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know about good. I was like this. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> y'all go vegan, right? Or y'all go vegetarian. Like, oh, I don't want to kill no, no, I don't want to eat no beef. Yeah, because no, they kill me. We know shit, right? Yeah, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah. Fuck that, but yeah, right? Yeah. But then you have the Beyond Meat shit that tastes like the real thing, right? And yeah. It t- and it has the same texture and everything, mm-hmm. and you like it. Like, damn, I like this shit. Mm-hmm. Is it this? Why don't you just eat meat, bro? Because it's it's eth- it's unethical. It's just to I people. think it's just don't the eat thought. it. No, fuck the thought. Wait, no, that that's you're what it is. Me. No, that's what it is though. Because <laughs> when they they taste the Beyond Meat burger and they're like, oh, this is so good. It's good that's because there's no. There's, they know that it's not an animal. Yeah, okay, but people, you know what, what I mean? What if I, s- <laughs> what if I switch out the motherfucker's patty, right? Yeah, and they still Damn, think it's good. Damn, this shit is so good. Damn, so yummy, bro. Yeah. I, of all my, so most of my vegan friends can actually pick out what's not vegan. Real. Yeah. I guess it's texture. Because you can't, texture, you, you can't, you cannot yeah, like, yeah. fully you can. replicate the texture. The Beyond Meat, I've yeah. tried the yeah. Beyond Meat burger. It's different. It, it's different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The taste is there, but it's a little The texture different. is different. Yeah. The texture is off. Yeah, yeah. They have some like some good intuition. They have some superpowers. Like, when it's <laughs> when it's actually me. Yeah, they got some vegans have superpowers. Yeah, respect the vegans. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Before yeah. we disrespect to this good time. <laughs> 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 vegans, you guys are killing it right now. Like yeah, not, not not really killing it. Not good times, bro. <laughs> it's not good. Mm. Yeah, drink it then. I'm trying. Uh, yo. <laughs> all right, yo, Abby. Looks or personality? Mm. Um, Don't cap. Here's yeah, how I feel. The girl's answer. Looks is what gets you attracted. Yeah, mm-hmm. But personality is, is what gets you is what like, keeps, keeps you around. You around. Yeah, keeps you around. Yeah, <laughs> gets you to stay. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day, it's 50 yeah. 50. Yeah. yeah. Is that who you agree? Who that was your yeah. point of view too? Yeah. No, yeah. that's everybody's. Oh, uh, everyone. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It's a collective idea. Yeah. 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 Collective. Uh, but now we're gonna head in some new ting tings with a ting <laughs> yeah, tong and then, you know, getting the into the relationship yeah. stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. What are some uh, what are some what are some red flags to you, Abby, when you're looking for like an SO, you know? Okay, my biggest red flag. What's the biggest? What's the biggest? The red flag? biggest is mm. immaturity. Okay, that's probably, mm. yeah. Okay. okay, what defines immaturity? Um. If yeah. Yeah. See. Immaturity is like <laughs> No, no, no if, oh, Sorry, I'm sorry That wasn't a good time Punch you <laughs> That's okay um, Weep <laughs> Weep Okay, I'm not even Weep. gonna say Because okay, there's different things In terms of immaturity I mm-hmm. think there's such thing as Emotional immaturity 100% okay. Yeah, okay. Mental yeah. immaturity <laughs> Okay, talk about it Physical immaturity yeah, There's love Okay um, All But that. I'm gonna talk about Emotional immaturity Okay mm. And that is if we are going through conflict and you react to it, like, like a fourteen-year-old, yeah, biggest red. Flag I, have, I have a question. Have you yeah. watched um, Love Is Blind? 
Season yeah. two? Oh. Shane? Wait, no, not season two. Oh, not two. I haven't watched, watched it. No, I, watched, you watched I haven't it? watched it. I watched it. I watched, I watched, I watched it. I watched Shane, right? Yeah. Okay, so basically. I've never have... watched Love is Blind, period. Love is Blind, okay. I, okay, I thought it was whack because yeah. I'm like, that's actually stupid, pretty good. But it's kind of funny. It's actually pretty really? good. So in season pretty two, there's a guy named Shane, right? <laughs> okay. So basically, you. he's ta- so you're talk- he's like talking to two girls. One of, one of them is named Shana. One of them is named Natalie, right? Yes. And so this brings it back to the emotional immaturity, right? So Shane walks into the room. He's thinking that it's Shayna, right? So he walks in, so you can't see anything. It's a wall. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah. To okay. Wall, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Shane walks in. It's like, hey, Shayna, hey, Shayna, what are you wearing today? Hey, Shayna, right? And then it's the other girl, Natalie. She's like, uh, it's Natalie. And then, and then Shane goes, you know, I didn't know that. Like, what, what's what's my problem? I did. I didn't know. I I I, uh, I didn't so he know. He had a freak. He freaked yeah. out. Yeah. And he was like, he was like trying to disperse the blame back on her. Um, He's like, you you never liked me that much. That's why you're talking to this person. Um, uh, like that that shit just gaslit yeah, right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't like like that guy through. is like literally the embodiment of gaslighting bro if yeah. you haven't watched season two of love is one mm-hmm. it's fucking and she crazy. she hopefully she didn't go for it oh no anymore. they got they they he proposed and she said yes yeah. what yeah <laughs> that's yeah. what he should yeah. 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 yeah 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 okay spoiler yeah. alert yeah, too late. i guess it's too late <laughs> i guess it's too late <laughs> nah but no, watch, it. watch it no, i'll watch it love no, is one is so crazy i love it oh my god yeah but all depends on how they handle the certain situation and just yeah. commu- I, it also goes into communication too. Like you mm-hmm. just know when you're talking to someone who is just like, do you know yourself? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you I, meet me halfway? Because I feel for myself, I'm a very I act very immature. Mm-hmm. I crack stupid jokes, like all that stuff. I'm very self aware. Mm-hmm. When it comes down to like the nitty gritty serious shit, then I know when to like switch level out mm-hmm. like i don't want to switch it right away mm-hmm, that's real yeah, yeah. like mm-hmm. i'll crack jokes like and then when my girlfriend's like mad mad then i'll be like oh shit pat boom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would have been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you think it's unfair if if like let's say your partner is insecure mm-hmm. about right him. or just about anything like oh, maybe insecure. their looks or like yeah, okay. you know Some. whatever something they're mm-hmm. insecure about something right mm-hmm. do you think that that's a red flag no, I think that just means they need work. And, like, yeah. you either support them in that work mm. or you don't. It's like, are you along for the journey or are you not? Mm. Do you feel like that's a red flag? Why do you bring that up? What's up? You think that's a red flag? No, it's just some, a thought that I think I think that insecurity can play into red flags. Because, essentially, all your red like gaslighting is insecurity. Mm. It comes yeah. from insecurity, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it, it definitely stems from it. Mm. Um uh, oh, yeah. uh, building on that, I yeah. think it isn't a red flag for me at first, but if you continue to allow it to take advantage of my relationship mm-hmm. with you and how I communicate with you, mm-hmm. yeah. for example, let's say if they struggle with, um, let's say trust issues, mm-hmm. and but I give I'm giving them my trust, yeah, and I'm expecting it in return, yeah. and I haven't given them a reason to, but they start like making things out of the blue, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. there for them in the first couple of times, like supporting whatever is mm-hmm. trying to like reassure them. Mm-hmm. But if it's like constant, like yeah. you're oh. you're still not then but then it I becomes feel like, a red flag. I feel, but I feel like having trust issues is like a really big thing, you know. Like, st- but that's an inse- that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. an insecurity. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like that's an insecurity that will like forever stay. Mm-hmm. Really, I feel like trust issues will mm-hmm. always stay, whether it's with family, whether if it's with a significant other and friends. I feel like trust issues will always be lingering in your head. I feel like there's no solution to trust issues. Trust issues. Mm-hmm. So you think that like, no matter how long you've been with a partner, there's still gonna be trust issues. I feel with like there's always there's, gonna there's, be a small a fragment. Percentage. Yeah, really. Always gonna yeah, be a do you small. Trust fra- issues? I don't. Like I don't. Do. Okay. I, 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 I do. I, I do. do. Yeah, really. I know there's yeah. a. I don't. I feel like there's always gonna <laughs> be a so small know. fragment of like the mistrust. Yeah. Especially really? like regardless if you if mm-hmm. like if I was in a relationship with you and you gave me everything that mm. I ever wanted, yeah, I there's mm. I still will have like a couple of bricks on my wall. Of course, yeah. I'm never gonna break that. How down. do you I know? Remember. How do you know? No, because like, you're right. Yeah. But how do you know? Is it I from? Oh. Okay. No, I don't have trust issues. I don't give a fuck. Because for me, yeah. Because for me, it's like. With my in my relationship, I I give my significant other other like my trust, mm, and it's yeah. uncomfortable for me too. Mm-hmm. But because I respect her and because I love her, I, like she she deserves that trust, even though mm-hmm. it's uncomfortable for me too. Mm-hmm. And the way I like deal with it is through her reassurance, her showing through actions. Hey, like yeah. this isn't 
what I'm doing to like break your trust, even mm-hmm. though she understands that I have trust issues and that I struggle with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she does her part in showing efforts and to making it like it doesn't give me a reason to have those trust issues. Yeah. The only reason why yeah. it brings like Royce was saying, those things come back up is yeah. when things are like given to me. To believe that I have a reason to, yeah, to yeah. not trust mm-hmm. and, you. And I yeah. feel like if yeah. you do have trust issues and like you're learning to trust, I feel like if there is one misstep, they're, they're like you refract back like way more than what mm. like say if I if something happened to me. Yeah. Right? Like say like if say like if you lied to me, I, I would take a step back, but I wouldn't dwell on the thought for like months on end mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but if say you got lied to mm-hmm. you're gonna be on that shit for a while and it's gonna take mm-hmm. a while for you to get that trust that's back just the way you're, you're, you gotta re-earn your brain it. is yeah, like you gotta lying. re-earn it yeah okay mm-hmm. okay but again it all got boils back to like the whole communicating thing it's just like you gotta let me know what's going on mm-hmm. and yeah. you don't have to let me know everything that's going on because your life is your life yeah i don't own you but yeah but um you you just got to keep me in the loop and as long as that line of communication is open for anyone who's like who struggles with trust issues i think mm-hmm. being able to talk about how you feel and what you're feeling and not feeling like you're being attacked is super mm-hmm. important and I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not no expert or no, like, no, no, it's all valid. Phys- like yeah. thing, but, um, yeah. What, what are your thoughts from someone else who it experiences that? No, I think, I think you covered it. Yeah. 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 You covered it really great. Mm-hmm. You got Trust any other issues. red flags? Mm. What else you guys got? Me? What can you guys think of? Mine is like, if you are lacking in financial, like strategy or planning, Mm. I will not give important. you the time of day. Yeah, because you want to see like, a future with somebody. Yeah, right? I don't give a fuck if you got millions, zero dollars, but if you don't have a plan and you're like, not yeah. and you're not organized and the to way get you your spend money up your by money, yourself, mm-hmm. like yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking. To you. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, ve- I'm very set on like I have like blinders on when it comes to like financials. Mm-hmm. So like if you don't match me in that same way or even kind of work your way towards where I'm at, yeah, then like there's no point. Mm. Yeah, like I can teach you so much and like <laughs> and, at the end and, of the day, at the end of the day, it's you that's yeah. that's dealing with your own money. You that's know? true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Like, you guys know how I am, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I guess. For me, it's a uh, lack of like drive or plan for a Fast better for ch- future mm. <laughs> like if everything you do is face value and mm-hmm. th- you live and breathe just that yeah and you have nothing else around it like you're just plain bagel to me mm-hmm. yeah and there's nothing wrong with playing you bagel. just go to work just, bagel. go home yeah. go sleep there's nothing wrong with it <laughs> but yeah i just prefer really sesame i love playing bagels bro I could never. cream cheese, bro. That's, that's oh. fire, though. Mm-hmm. That shit gave me giddy, bro. <laughs> but some people like that. Some people, some people like that. I just, I can't do Yo, that. You know? Plain bagel. No, I'm <laughs> this guy made me giddy. Plain bagel. Ooh. Plain you went bagel. somewhere else completely. There was a light in your eye that was new. He loved plain bagels. Roy's mouth low-key and watering right now. <laughs> McDonald's burgers, too. McDonald's burgers. Oh, too. my gosh. You know, you know the fast food. Drunk, the small, the it's always the small burgers at fast food places that hit the sliders. Just like more for some reason. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like late at night, I want me a McDouble, not a Big Mac. Yo, red flag you know right there. Mean? If you eating junk food, fucking seven days a week, I'm fucking canning your ass too. You don't like junk food. Well, like I'll, I'll indulge. <laughs> like I'll indulge. Well, 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 like, like I'll indulge into junk food, like here and there. But yeah. I'm not yeah. going out to McDonald's every day. Every yeah, day. of course. You know. Yeah. yeah. But if you are like eating McDonald's, like <laughs> fucking Wendy's, N W all week without yeah. no Dude, remorse and so no, it's yo. just kind of like, bro, like what? The <laughs> so funny fuck? story, right? Funny story. <laughs> Don't it's tell like, me what the this fuck are you your doing? No, no, funny story, right? I had a friend. Okay. She was dating this guy, <laughs> and she would always come like in the summer. She would always go over to his house or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like she's obviously they're gonna eat. They gotta eat sometime in the day, right? Oh, yeah. This guy, <laughs> <laughs> this guy would only cook chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The That's one? actually another red flag. And your mask can't cook. Yeah. If, or just like even loosely, 
<laughs> just chicken strips. Loosely cooked. Right? Right. That's some it's shit. A just, Adult skill. Just imagine, get what you want. Chicken. So all I got is chicken strips. <laughs> I made chicken strips. I made chicken strips for you. I know. What time do you want chicken strips, bro? <laughs> I mean, I can put an egg on the side. Of the chicken strips, like not bro. even egg, bro. What? Not I'm even. Just tr- straight chicken and strips. And the rice is pre-cooked from last night from his mom. <laughs> not bro. even no rice, bro. It'd be oh. like chicken strips, ketchup, bro. Like no fries. <laughs> How long did she stay with him? <laughs> bro, that is a red flag, bro. I don't know. Like, regardless if you are a woman, a man, and you yeah. can't cook. Generally. Mm-hmm. That's some generally. shit. Like, well, at I'll bare say, minimum. Bare minimum. Yeah. Eggs. Yeah. Okay, bare minimum. Okay, eggs. Okay, okay, okay. Very bare minimum. Yeah, please. Rice. Yeah. And a rice eggs. cooker. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm eggs. saying. But, like. You gotta be able can, to fry stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you can't. My girlfriend, Jenna, she can't cook. Can't mm-hmm. cook for shit. Yeah, I, I respect her, but she like it's it's she tough. tries. It's tough. She tries. It's hard. No, yeah, it's hard. She <laughs> tries. She tries. <laughs> every if you time, guys can't cook. It's, yeah, listen, it's hard. It's okay. every, every yeah. time, You'll get there. You'll get there. Every time we are out at like a B and B or something, because mm-hmm. I like to sleep in. Like Jenna will like to cu- try to cook in the morning, and it and it's like I love it. It's, it's a nice good. gesture. Yeah, she's I, making I, the I, effort. Yeah, I wish she's making the effort, right? But if you are making no effort to fucking cook, bro, yeah, yeah, that's like I'm telling you. But Jenna's really good at baking though. So I'm like, baking. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm yeah really cool. Good at cooking, she cool. can bake, bro. Respect yeah. Fuck like, baking. I, I love don't that. Like it. Baking hard. But yeah, it's baking. You guys are a team. Yeah, no. You guys are a team. Yeah. But like, if you cannot cook rice, eggs, sausage, bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but just Filipino. Yeah, where is this? All the Filipino stuff yeah, right you know, now. I love you, it. Yeah. You can't cook that shit, bro. It's just like, what Get the up. fuck, bro? <laughs> it's just easy. What? You literally crack it. You put it on the pan. You put on the pan, bro, and you look at it and see if it's cooked. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna let the oil. And I'd rather have that shit burnt rather than like Nothing. undercooked and cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can't cook. So a random question. It's not even like red flag or whatever, but would you ever break up with a guy because he started to gain weight? The that would just be so awful. It's awful, I but like know, it really depends awful. on the situation. I, I me, think, me, but, yeah. I think, but with weight though comes like, like an attitude, like a men- mentality, like yeah. like they're just a slob, like. Mm. Or and also they could what? be going through depression. Like there's yeah. let's yeah. just say yeah. they're killing it in their career, mm-hmm. like career wise. But they just don't have time but, to do the shits. But yeah, they they're just big. they're just gaining weight mm-hmm. and they're just they not making an now. effort to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Would you see that as a problem? Like, would you bring it up and be like, thing? <laughs> and fat. then and then <laughs> if if you big kid, <laughs> like if they I'm if fat. they don't work on it, hey, I was fat, so I can say this shit, bro. <laughs> If but listen, if they don't work on it, is that does that is that when it becomes a problem? Yes, it becomes a problem when they don't work on it. But it's not a deal breaker after you bring it up. It's not a deal breaker. I think it 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 really depends. Like if they don't have the time, or I mean, you can always make time for the gym, right? But if they don't have the mental, everybody can. Yeah, everyone everyone can make time for the gym. But if you if they say if they they're mentally capped out, yeah, you know, from work, they're killing in the career, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just got big. It's all good. <laughs> they booked something. Well, you can't relate this to dance because if they're booking, they're looking good. Jeez! <laughs> like, like, they're not gaining weight. They're dancing, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm trying true, to say? True, true, true. Like, yeah, yeah. What, like what is this? Active. They're, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're active. active. They're active. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like an office job. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like, yeah, 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 yeah. but with that, I feel like there's always, there's always <laughs> room <laughs> for, you know, progression. Yeah. You know, like, I think that little time I think I excuse me. I think that little time where they're just gaining weight is just very temporary. I don't think it's going to be long term. It just mm. needs to be brought up in a in a point where like it's made aware and they're self aware because maybe when they're grinding out their mm-hmm. career, they're not aware of their physical appearance at the time. They're yeah. focused solely on the career. Let's say if they're it, a slob and slacking say, off, no, no, bro, okay. like that same is situation. A, a problem. Same situation. Let's say you brought it up already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like years pass by. Mm-hmm. And they're still like the same, probably gaining even more weight. But the thing is, like, there's a difference between like bringing it up and actively trying to solve the problem. Okay, but like, what if? Okay, right, what if? What if? Like, but the thing is, like, are, like, are you guys like say like going on walks? Are you guys fix like like fixing up the diet that you guys are having at mm-hmm. home? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, there's different ways and different solutions to the problem. Mm-hmm. But it, and there's one thing is just saying like, hey, yo, Roger, you're getting big. Hmm. You know okay, but saying? let's say you're doing all that stuff, but okay. there's still no like effort from their side of things. Like, goddamn! <laughs> How much money do you, you think? Making? Is that a deal breaker then? 
how much money they if they, if they really if they really don't want to do anything yeah even though you're trying actively to help yeah them, I don't, yeah i don't think that's like a breakup standpoint though you feel me real you don't you wouldn't break up with your girl if she I'm, was I, if, if she, that was happening if she was gaining weight bro is, she's happy doing something i'll say this you know what i'm saying that's i'll say that's very this. true but, yeah if they're happy that's actually i, I mean if they're if they are succeeding and and you know like going to the top with everything else that they're doing in life mm-hmm. like yeah physical appearance will set it back but yeah. that but at the end of the day that's still your person right mm-hmm. yeah I, I i want to say this I, I bring it to the analogy of being in a fun house every mirror makes you look different <laughs> okay you know what i mean okay and some of those mirrors make you look bigger some of them a little squiggly mm-hmm. yeah but when you exit the fun house you're still the same person Ooh, okay that's so good so for me whatever situation you're put in yeah, that's the house they're the, going the through. House. Yeah. yeah, they're walking through their own fun house. Yeah. But they come. But I fell in love them. with the same person that walked in. That's what I'm saying. You might have convinced me. You might have convinced yeah. me. You that is a, that's okay, a it's facts though. Like, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Think about it's, that. I don't think it's like necessarily it. a deal breaker. It just really depends on like what lifestyle they're living. You know, like if they're really like genuinely slacking off, doing nothing, yeah, eating themselves into the grave. Yeah. Obviously, that's a problem. It's yeah. a problem there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if they're actually actively like doing stuff and work, you know, dancing still, yeah, you they're know, progressing. Key, they're somewhere. progressing in yeah. life, but yeah. maybe mm-hmm. lacking somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're still progressing. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but if they're slacking, like fuck off, like it's like, the shits. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what it is. Everyone in their right. own fun house. That's cool. I really like that <laughs> one. Actually, you did. that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like, damn, like I think eventually gonna... I'm gonna have to break it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought but, I was going somewhere else. And then but you, yeah, and then that that one had me. That yeah, one's no, like, okay, no. yeah. That's why I said it. Oh, yeah. That's why I said A what plus. I said. A plus. That's no. why you have a podcast. I got, I, got, I got a red flag, bro. You got a red flag. Right, what what else you got? It's some shit, bro. And it's facts. Pull it up. Body odor, all right. If y'all, we did talk about <laughs> no, this, hi- yeah, last and episode, hygiene, right? bro. Mm. Yeah, it's just true, though. Fucking, it's you know, you <laughs> you learn it in yeah. school. They I give don't you, think they I give could you the little free deodorant sticks in high school when you start mm. smelling really? like, yeah. Do they? Never got class, I've never had yeah, that. I got, in I never got I've never got that. Some kids did, and some kids did. Yeah, in health class, they, it's they the stinking one. <laughs> In health class, <laughs> you got it. You got it. This guy was stinky, bro. Hey, bro. I'm gonna I'm tell okay. you right now, bro. I don't <laughs> smell, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you right now. In health class, in health Damn. class, they handed out the little, little unbranded uh, deodorant mm, sticks. No, no, okay. President's choice. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. I think it was like some other shit. Bro. I expect, yeah, yeah, I expect okay. regardless. Body odor, bro. Like, yeah. come on, man. 100%. You smell yourself first. Have Have you guys ever. How do I say this? Say it. Their body odor is actually comfortable. Like it smells like it's good. Like no, it's not necessarily good. But it's like, but it's almost like you're attracted scent. to it. Hmm. Like their natural scent. Like do you, do you guys know what pheromones are? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever been attracted to someone's pheromones? Honestly. Because that's yeah. actually it playing <laughs> there's into, in, into someone's advantage. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Side note. Side hey, note. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> So I there's like, certain no. <laughs> there's certain body odors that I just can't do, Aren't like, they? like, like bad breath. Mm-hmm. I can't do. If you have terrible breath, yeah, mm-hmm. facts. you know what I mean. That's what you're talking from. Um, <laughs> smelly feet, couldn't mm-hmm. do smelly feet, sure. but. I could honestly do like armpit. No, like, bro, you're like, fucked. I, I'm not like you're I'm not gross. smelling her no, armpit fucking, or nothing. You're gross. No, listen, I'm not smelling her no, armpit. Like, I'm not ahead. like I'm go not ahead, like young king. You're nasty. Like no. you know what I mean. Go but ahead. but if she does, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like like yo like you sting like yeah. go take a shower. But I'm not. It's not gonna be like deal breaker like yo yeah. like, mm-hmm. like yeah. But the thing yeah, is like, that that's fucking nasty. She hugging you. Bang. Armpit, shoulder, right? Yeah. You smell that for the rest of your day. You smell that bo. You dealing with that? But I'm gonna tell her though. That's the thing. I'll tell her. What if I'll it tell just her never it smells. Faces? I'll it's tell her. There. I'll tell her shit smells. Okay. What if it's always there regardless? Nah, of what but you do. See, we talked about this, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did a couple episodes ago. I was saying how like you got you you just bring them to the the store. And yeah. You yeah. Just oh, make you a joke this. out about it. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I don't need this. About Fuck you. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, I'm. I'll be like, yo, I'm grabbing deodorant. I'm gonna you grab you one some. too, cause you you be smelling sometimes. <laughs> that's what I be. That's what I would say, and that it's it comes. Yeah, that's It real. comes across real that's nice, real. cause like I'm I'm just grabbing for the both of us. I care about you. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, shit, you running a little low on your you deodorant, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to grab you something. I'm going to grab a two for one. You guys, I'm the complete one. opposite. Yo, so you like bro, that. I, okay, wait, hold I, up. Wait, I want to say something about, yo, you, yeah, should, no, you know you're talking about, <laughs> about the pheromone yeah, yeah. shit, yeah. right? There's some there's some guys on <laughs> I've seen on TikTok where they like, they like the smell of, like, you know where your ball sack hits the leg? And Excuse like me? That wait. Little, that little crevice. Excuse me? Wait, wait. They like that. <laughs> the little the, the, the like ball that. pit. The little ball What's pit. What's happening right now? Bro, this is You did not just say that. <laughs> Bro, I'm being dead ass. The I'm, ball pit, the ball pit. Yeah, the ball pit. The yeah, ball yeah, pit. They, they're smelling it. They they like kinda like What do they do? They, they just they, like Oh swipe the gooch? It? Is it the gooch? No no no. It's, do they it's, swipe it and they just like, Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And do they you like guys that? Do that? Exactly. <laughs> they like that shit. Girls are It's a little it's a little funk that they fuck with. It's the that's the that's the stuff that they like, bro. Like, mm, and it's the guy. It's the, the, the person, like, it's like if I were to like, you know, and like, I don't fuck with that. But like, there's some boys out there that love that smell, that little funk. Mm. There's a lot of boys in a man's costume. I'll say that. Okay, back to you. What was your what was your take on the whole body odor thing? I, that's nasty. Though. Maybe I'm just weird, but I yeah. When I think about my partners i just used to love how they smelled like just genuine like, like how they just, just how smelled. just how yeah i just was like just their natural smell but that's not like that's not like smelling though that's not like they're smelling they're reeking i like, think that's like, just their natural scent i guess but also they like like if they were sweaty though too i'd be like mm. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. I know, yeah there's some girls that like yeah, guys yeah, 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 right yeah. after the gym like when they're sweaty or i can like, see that's what i feel like that's like i don't care about that like that I'm like, if anything, I think we're I'm on like, the same page. Yeah, if anything, I'm like, it's you. Like, I accept you for yeah. you. And like, no, if you're real. gritty and gross, like, like, yeah, I, I mean, accept it. Yeah. Even though it's gritty and gross. Like, yeah. I feel like I can but, do body smell. Yeah. I can't do. Well, but like, I mean, now, feet like, like someone's like gross. Yeah. Like see, dirty that's laundry. I don't. I don't see that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. But but how someone naturally smells and kind of like yeah on their body interesting to me. Not just minus the feet. Yeah. I'll say mouth. that too. Okay, I, I agree in that. Okay, I'll I'll put a scenario though okay. for my 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 answer. Okay, so I'm participating <laughs> in some heated worship. Okay. Okay. You know heated worship. Yes. You know heated worship. Heated uh, worship. Heated worship. Just know it's heated worship. Just heated oh, okay. worship. Heated like, worship. You know, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you know, I I like it when we're both warm. You know, mm-hmm. we're both participating. Well, that's very situational. Like sweaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. If if they smell, then it's whatever for me. I'm like, I'm chill. Yeah. But like, if they like reeking, reeking, like they didn't bath or like they didn't wash up after, so I have to look a little period, yeah. you know? But that's very situational. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what <laughs> it's I'm like, saying. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah. It's very it's a, it's a very one. Th- I'm telling, I'm saying like a day-to-day lifestyle. Like, if yeah. you are smelling, smelling, like the day-to-day, like that's just like, what, bro? Yeah, we just got different perspective. Yeah. Yeah, we right. just disagree there. I think. Yeah, like, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't let my but, girl yeah. go out like that. If that's yeah. what you're asking, I wouldn't let her go out like that. But you, you but just, she in the but house with if you. If she was with me, like I'm just like I'm chilling. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna come. Oh, I'll, maybe I'll say something, but I won't be like, like you need to go take a shower right now. Like yeah, it's mm. not like that. What if it's just you know? I'm like, just there's some people We're that like take showers, wear deodorant, wear cologne. Wear perfume, whatever, great, and, yeah, still, all great. and still end up smelling. Then I feel it's like, like it's like <laughs> then I feel like actually it's a cha- it's a challenge for them probably. Yeah, yeah, they, that's they, what I'm they saying. There's people, yeah. There's some people that it. actually will mm. still, if yeah. that's their shit. So like, they, mm. they then they just got it. some bad genetics yeah. like that. It's unfortunate, yeah. but fortunate because it's you and you're very one of a kind. Yeah. Sorry, not bad very genetics, unique. but yeah. interesting just, genetics. Yeah, just know that I do not fuck with. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very sensitive to smell. Mm. Mm. I'm very sensitive. If I smell bo, I would I'll, I'll make a face like I'm, like no shame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You walk by, I'm be. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, yeah, you seen some shit, right? You yeah. oh yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking about fucking Magunda in the fucking dance oh, class. Oh, I remember in high school. that's how the Magunda came. You know what I'm saying, bro? Inside joke. Got yeah. it. Got it. Okay, it's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. New red flag. When they talk about their exes or like past partners oh really me, me, and, me and jenna always talk about exes. see that isn't a red flag for me yeah I'm open. it depends really I'm open. no i don't know but like but like in general like y'all just be having a conversation and then they'll be like yeah my ex used to do that i, oh. I didn't like that oh. no i, like I that. feel like, like I'm they just bring up their ex like just I, randomly I, I think in conversations i think mm. i think because like me and my girlfriend right now we do that 
like it's, yeah we kind of like mm. it's kind of like in conversation it's kind of like almost like oh like i think it's, it's, it's kind of like, like oh oh like oh that's but are you bad. talking about it though yeah yeah we're very open no no, no 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 like like are you guys talking about your ex i think he means like if you're being compared to someone's ex like oh they used to do that and you don't yeah yeah, yeah shit like, like that or like, like no. just in general in general talk like okay we're at let's right. say we're on she a date. she had me and then you lost let's me. say we're on a date yeah <laughs> let's say we're on a date me and you mm-hmm. Kiss. right and then and then and then i order like like a steak and whatever yeah and then you're like oh my ex used to order steak and this i'm like okay no that no me me and my girlfriend but do that why openly, openly. you two really? are very different like you guys are very me different. and my girlfriend really? do that very openly yeah very it's different. just really? it's kind of like because, okay, here, here's the scenario. Like, mm. my girlfriend wants to go pescatarian, mm. right? And I'm like, my ex was pescatarian. I'm like, fuck that shit. Don't go pescatarian, right? Mm. I just like, no, I want to, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm. it, was, it was and shit like that. Like, we are, it, we're very comfortable in a relationship where we can talk about our exes. It's mm-hmm. not, like, it's not very, like, you know, like, stay away from those topics. We're yeah. just very open to, like, how, how things used to be in the past and how we're working out now, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, um, <clears throat> pescatarian. I've tried being pescatarian um, in terms of just, like, that's just fish, isn't it? Yeah, it's just um, seafood. seafood and then no meat. Yeah, I, I can't do it. No red meat. Can't do it. Well, I'm like more it. chicken than I am red meat. I don't eat too I much I just red don't meat like much. restrictions in general. Really? <laughs> that's, that's me. Is it rebel? <laughs> not real, though. But you know what? I'm not too like. I don't eat too much pork, to be honest. I don't eat pork. I, don't eat pork. I, I love like pork. beef, bro. Pork I, love beef. I love beef. steak. Chicken. I'm more chicken and and seafood Lean. than I am. Like yeah. Beef. Than mm. I am beef. I'm I know Royce is a connoisseur of like I'm steaks. I'm always eating steak, yeah. bro. I love yeah. steaks, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. My shit. Yeah, we were saying earlier, like, uh, what? Hunt, hunts. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to go hunting once yeah. just to see. Like, kill you should go through so, so I can see that process. Yeah. No, but I do know that it it kind of changes the perspective. Well, you just yeah, you just learn how yeah, you, you get your yeah. food. Yeah, because my I have two yeah. homies that are really into hunting. They go up every hunting season. They fucking they both got trucks and they go into the mountains for a week. Mm. And That's they, fun, man. And they hunt deer. That's so one, fun. my dad told me a story, right? One time, like he's just walking like back home, mm-hmm. and then uh, he heard a car crash or something like that. Mm-hmm. Found out his dog got ran over, <gasps> right? It was so sad, right? He went back home, went to his room. He's in the uh, Philippines. He's in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Do I know where this is going? So then, so then, so he went back into his room. Come back downstairs for dinner. Mm. Boom. Dog for dinner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> his dog for dinner. Oh my. That reminds me of what happened, bro. That's right? real. His, it was actually his? His dog. I'm That's crying crazy. on the inside. No, yeah. So, okay, so. happens. Yeah. Yeah, though, right? Yeah. You gotta eat though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Philippines, Philippines, and the in the Club. poor areas, bro. They don't I mean, eat yeah, building yeah. like my uncle was like, I think to my sisters or something. I forgot who, but he was like, oh, like which which goat do you like? Mm. Oh, that that's good. bad. That yeah. Good. I, I have that. I have a I have a relative in Oregon that has a goat farm. So every time we go up there, they kill a goat for us to eat in the, mm. the dinner. Mm. Every every time we visit up there. Bro. And that's in the Oregon. That's <laughs> in the Oregon. <laughs> in the Oregon. I think people who have like independent farms, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Because yeah. like, yeah, they, they already like figure out their like cycle and mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Free range. Yeah, because yeah. like, definitely you're, some families. You're the one getting picked tonight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if animals like, shoot, is it me today? Yeah. No, yeah. 100%, bro. I they have that feeling. 100%. You, what are those, what are those uh, Play-Doh movies? You know those play, you know the claymations. You know, yeah, the claymation ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know those movies. Yeah, what about or like you know, it'd be like a bunch of sheep and the thing. And oh, you're talking about that cow motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 all those. Yeah. those movies. I was thinking more like um, Babe. You ever seen that movie Babe? Oh, yeah, VCR, yeah, yeah. Where they were like, oh, like they're about to send out whatever. The pig, right? Yeah. Bro, have you ever watched like the like the fast food industry farm? Yeah. Have or you ever watched the McDonald's? How, how does that make you feel? Oh, I don't know. Okay, cool. so I don't think killing like an animal would change. Yeah, it's that. sad, but like at the same time, like food McDonald's food. documentary, yeah. Super Size Me. Yeah, Super Size Me. Yeah. With all the ducks. food is food, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Food is food. It never affected me really. Ah, 
Yeah, I know there's some people like, oh yeah, like, oh shit, vegetarian after it. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, like that movie movies. changed some people's lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. For that documentary. Yeah. Hey, hey, as long as, like, you're gonna hate it, but that's how it is, bro. Like, yeah. there's no change in it. Like, you can buy for your range, but at the end of the day, those cows are still getting killed. They're still getting killed. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think the idea behind it, though, is like, there's less of a demand for it, so there's less mm. killing. There's but that's gonna people. take a very no, that's not gonna happen in our lifetime, mm. unless there's some like crazy breakout. But I think even like milk, like milk production looks different than it did a couple years ago. Yeah, well, I'm lactose now, so exactly. Really? Yeah. 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 Like I do feel like there's room for it. It would just be more of a like. Mm. Yeah, but like I've. Actually, I fucks with almond milk. That shit. Mm-hmm. Almond, almond milk, almond milk is yeah. so good. Is I like good. almond. Wait, milk. it has a way better taste than regular milk too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Guys, almonds. Yeah. You know what? I yeah. used to not like almond milk. I used to think it tastes like cardboard. Almond. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Almond. 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 Yeah. almond. Almond. Sorry. <laughs> what's a What's a definite red flag for you? I'm, gonna... I'm like. My head is still an almond. So we no. were, we, we were, we were talking about almonds. 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 Whoever says almonds is a fucking red flag. The red, bro, I'm a red flag, bro. You saying that? Almonds. Almonds. The almonds. red flag was bringing up exes, I think. Or like, mm, friends, yeah. partners. Mm. That's like that was the red, that, that went into the pre- I mean, it really, wow, it really that, depends. Yeah, just for a moment. It really yeah. depends on where and how comfortable you are in a relationship. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. But I also, it can be triggering to some people. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a very why, why are we bringing it? Like, I think it it's, up. like, for me, personally, like, I haven't found a problem with it. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling. I've never been worried about anybody yeah. else's exes, my partner's exes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's just kind of like, why does it matter? Why? 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 Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, There's no need the to point, bring them up anymore. Then I hear you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you ask a question. Unless I'm, unless yeah. unless we're talking about it. Yeah. Unless we're trying to figure out, like, like what you need to work through because of your ex or like, yeah. you know what I mean, stuff yeah. like that, trauma, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Then I'm totally there for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if we're not on that, mm-hmm. like, why, why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's where it becomes I'm a problem for me if they bring it up in, like, arguments. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely. That's definitely. Like they go date them. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, no, really what? That's between you and I. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're yeah. 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 And, and I'm just chilling. Yeah, and just, yeah, it just shows how comfortable I am in my relationship, you know. But it's, just, it's, it's yeah, not. Like, it's not about. It's not about. Okay, but that. the thing it's is, just, but it's I have different not, point of view. Yeah, it's, yeah, because I I have not experienced anything else. You know, yeah, what I'm saying so like, this is my experience with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like I don't give a fuck. We both yeah. don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I shit on my ex all the time because she shat on me during my relationship. So mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. So you know, oh, what speak your truth. Yeah, I love that. I'm friends with my ex, so. And that's why. <laughs> uh, and up. that's why. <laughs> yeah. What's next? What's next? I mean, are you? you got, can you guys think of any more red, red flags? flags? Uh, not really. Mm-hmm. I said my piece. Green flags. Green flags. I think. I mean, it's the opposite of all the red flags. Yeah. I, was gonna I guess say. so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you have you dressed nice, bro? Uh huh. Oh, dressing yeah, nice is, is a good one. Dressing nice is a real good green mm-hmm. flag. That's a but real like your own style though. Like yeah, not you not put your own thing on it. Yeah, and if you went in Molina pen, are you <laughs> uh, uh, with really a super puff, bro? I, yeah, no. I see nice style everywhere. Else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Are you into like star signs? Sort like I'm. I'm aware of them. Are you like? Do you like repost like? Oh, Aries like. This is the month. I will send it to my friends, but mm-hmm. I'll never post it to my story because it. I cannot do that. Yeah, no, but, but I'm aware of it. Think that is, you think that, is that a red flag? Sagittarius season bitches, fucking up. How'd you know? <laughs> are, you, are you guys like, are you Sagittarius? Cool with that? Feel it. Mm-hmm. Really? That's nice cap. I, there are some people. <laughs> you did people. not feel that. No, that's a lucky like guess. for a reason, bro. It's a lucky guess. Feel it, bro. Feel it, bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's cap, bro. There's no fucking way you I know you're not with I'm this shit. I'm just playing. I'm not with this shit. I, I know. You always just said the first thing that came to his mind. I was like, no good. way. It's good. Because you were right. Yeah. So, but hey, 
Yeah. The universe is speaking to you. That's what it is, bro. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Might, yeah. Might be, you might could be. <laughs> might it could be. You know? yeah. How about you guys? You like, if a girl is posting like. I don't care. Do you guys? Yeah, yeah. 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 Low key, okay. they, they be giving. Okay, anyone that's like into the astrological, <laughs> astrological, 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 you know the astrology signs. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like, it's your month. I feel yeah. like that gives me such more like motivation to do shit. Like yeah, hey, like this is your yeah. month. Like, it's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like how like hey, you're gonna run into some like you know some mm-hmm. succession into your into yeah. your life mm-hmm. in this month. Mm-hmm. Damn, like yeah, yeah. I feel hype. I'm gonna do it. You know? Yeah. If a girl's into like astrology like that, I'm like, okay, I fuck with it. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, like that's their personal growth. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. like that's attractive. Yeah. For me, that's a green flag. Like, if like. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not on her like main main story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I, mean, you can be able, I just like, can't when it's like five tabs in and it's yeah, 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 the same, yeah, same and I'm yeah. like, what am I? What am I actually getting? For sure, for but, sure. But I yeah, yeah I'm open to it. I feel that. No, it's it's lit. You know, yeah. they give they give some crazy advice too. Like, yeah. Oh, like hey, the reason why I have such a bad week, the stars are like in a circle right now where they should be aligned. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like for them. That's been, like, <laughs> Not not to shit on y'all, but like I, I that's what that's what I, that shit comes with. That's what I hear. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I I think like, cause I have some some of my closest friends are really spiritual in that yeah. way. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mercury's not in a Gatorade or so close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah close I like the orange flavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate I'm it, so dead. Um, but my point is. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I. So my friends are really spiritual. Yeah. If, in that realm. Yeah. Some magical stuff happens in their life. Yeah, yeah. Really, no, it does. And I really though. can't I'm pull it back. I can't draw it anywhere other than they just share this cool belief. So it's like, yeah, yeah I mean, we can like joke about it, and yeah. I totally understand no, that yeah, side. 100%. But then also you look at their lives and you're like, wait, something yeah. is happening. No, yeah, we have. We have <laughs> I know. I'm on it. I'm on it. And, and and she's on that. She shit. did a tarot and reading. She did a tarot yeah. reading. I'm like halfway there though. Station. Really? Yeah. I'm not. I'm like. We, we know I, that I too. Accept it. We know that too. I see the moon. I like a lot of posts. I like a lot of those posts actually. Mm. Do you really? It's, I sh- yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah, there and, yeah. there can be some interesting overlap. Like, like they're setting goals for me. I just need to do it. Hey. <laughs> Hey. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, it's shit, it's shit like that. Like, like, it, it. like oh my gosh, like, February is going to be good for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I'm going to make it good for me now because you yeah. said it. Yeah. Like, the mm-hmm. only thing that kind of intrigues me is like how different signs have different personalities. What are your and signs? It, what it, are your signs? And it kind of aligns. Oh, yeah. you know? Definitely. Like, because it, it yeah. Oh. yeah, because <laughs> Jenna, the signs right? down, bro. Jenna, Jenna's like, real. Oh. she's like, oh, you're an Aquarius? Like, when we first started dating, like, oh, you're an Aquarius, right? I'm like, yeah, and she goes. Like, what are yeah, What are you? I can I can sense it. Like I'm a Libra. You are an Aquarius. Okay, what are you? I'm an Aries. Oh, okay, cool. And what are you? Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. My birthday was uh, two weeks ago. See, I couldn't tell you what all that means. Yeah, I couldn't either. See, yeah. I also just learned that I'm an Aries Pisces cusp. Cusp. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know the fucking cusp. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the you're like rising you're... sun. A cusp is like um the I cutoff really, date. I really like that. The cusp. 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 Yeah. Cusp. Yeah. 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 I feel you on that one. Yeah. But um, is it cusp? You're just, you're cut in between off. the like cutoff days. I'm yeah. technically a cusp too. Yeah. But yeah. You're yeah. in between the cutoff days. So let's say there's like, because my birthday's the 20th and the cu- and the next season is the 21st. Mm-hmm. I'm so close to that so cutoff day. Cusp? So I'm, I'm in a cusp. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know, you're like rising sun, moon shit. Gee, that's where I You I need to know like the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. time you were born. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time that you were yeah. born. You know, some people actually like make full i mean yeah i'm sure you guys know this but some people have full careers around being astrologists yeah 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 so it's like but then there's also this weird thing too where like if it wasn't all bs how the hell are you making a living because people because it's a you know there's like some real elements to it no it, it's real i believe it it's real and it's then real. like yeah, I mean, yeah. For a reason. yeah but then there's so much study against it too Mm. There's someone studying like I don't know if you guys watch this YouTube channel. I think it's called Jubilee. Oh yeah, Jubilee. yeah. Jubilee. Have I you guys Jubilee. seen like where one group will sit down and chat with another group? Yes, oh my yeah. god, that is such a good series. I love it's that like one. astrologers yeah. versus we're like religious. No, it's like people who scientists? people, people it's like what's that? 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 What's that?
the Church of Scientology or some shit. Yeah, like something that. like that. I, I, something like that. Anyways, yeah, there's like this whole episode about how it's like not like yeah, they talk about it. Watch that now. I'm like, wow, this yeah. is such yeah. good. Yeah, you, know, you know what you should watch in that series? Um, Millionaires versus Paycheck to Paycheck. I watched that one actually. I love that. I got that one. That was a good one. Another person. Honestly, all those episodes are really good. I love um, <clears throat> pro choice versus pro life. Have you guys mm. seen that episode? I seen that one. Yeah. Boom. Bro. Boom. It, it was, was life changing. Really? Yeah. So are you pro life? No, we don't ask I questions. Actually, no. <laughs> We don't ask this. But I would watch the episode because it's so edgy. It's like it's yeah. There's so many great things in that. Really like people just come forward with so many experiences in their back pocket that Mm -hmm. you're like yeah. In a way, yeah. We used to watch this one guy. His name uh, was it Stephen Crowder. I dude, Stephen Crowder. He is a fucking troublemaker. That guy. Yeah. So he is a really good debater. So what he would do is like he'd like set up on like a school campus or wherever mm-hmm. and he'd put up a big sign saying his point of view and then change my mind and then he'd be like yo change my mind so yeah. people would sit down with him oh, and he'd so just good. debate with them he's a really good wow, but the cool. thing is uh, what i found he's about, very right though yeah he's very right he's, he's very, very he's a rightist so basically rightist, rightist. he's a rightist he writes. okay he he writes. Uses right but the thing is like yeah. the way he thinks is very logical he reads everything on paper, black and white. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Facts. They're facts. Like, it's like Ben Shapiro. Mm. Yeah, Ben Shapiro yeah. is the same. Very yeah. facts mm-hmm. driven, right? Like yeah. there's no emotional. He doesn't tag believe in. They don't believe in the whole pronouns thing, like mm. all that stuff. They're not very. Yeah. Do you want to go listen, listen to that guy? <laughs> yeah. Or some shit. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But no matter what, <laughs> with all their talk and all their facts, I could just never get on board with it. Mm. With what? With like their opinions. Oh, sometimes, oh, like, mm-hmm. sometimes I can, but, like, with other things, I just cut, like... I, I feel like society is moving <clears throat> in such a different way that eventually their opinions will kind of not really suit society. Yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, that's their whole shits, though. Yeah. 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 That's it. It's, it's, it's all, like, facts over feelings. feelings. Yeah. yeah. It's always facts over feelings for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And right now, it's, like, a lot of feelings over facts. Like, mm-hmm. like, just... I don't know. We're evolving. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's... Uh, and you know, a, a lot of things are evolving, evolving, and um, dating has evolved too ever since we, from like our parents compared mm-hmm. to dating now. Everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and love is blind. Yeah, love is blind. That's a huge thing. And um, question is, if you didn't feel sparks on the first date, oh yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Would you go on a second date? With mm, no. Real. Mm. You wouldn't give it a chance. Mm-mm. What if he's just real nervous? <clears throat> then tell That's me. True. Then tell me. What if he's just real nervous to tell you that he's nervous? <laughs> then we're not. Then we're not on the same page. Because you need that level of communication. What if he's just real nervous to not be on the same page because he's so nervous? Oh my then, gosh. <laughs> then take some time. Maybe we'll revisit down the yeah. line, but not right yeah. now. Mm. Ah. How do you on the first date? Uh. No sparks. In I feet. feel like okay. So a date's like a pretty long time. Like it's like two to three, two to five hours long. Usually, yeah. You okay. Know? You do an activity, you grab dinner, you get mm-hmm. to talk. You yeah. know that dinner's where yeah, you yeah, really yeah. get to know each other. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, I think and it's I feel, enough time. Yeah, hundred percent. And like maybe there's not mm-hmm. one really big substantial spark that you feel. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's like minuscule things that you really like about that person mm-hmm. that will kind of make up for that big spark. Mm-hmm. You know. Like, maybe if I'm out with my, well, when me and Jenna were dating, like, she would grab onto my arm. Mm-hmm. That's very small. But you but, like, but you I know. really fucked with it. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it's not necessarily, like, a, a spark. Like, oh, you are my person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like, damn, like, like I fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I, I, like, I mean, yeah, like, you can, like, So you're saying that you gave Jenna a second chance? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider that a spark. You wouldn't? I would. Oh, you would? Yeah. Huh? It made you feel something. Arm. Yeah, but you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so guess. a spark is what makes you if you if you yeah. feel a certain. I, yeah. It, it, yeah, you made me feel like you made me yeah. feel so, like something towards yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, if it's just bland, like I, go have do that with anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm on the same page. Yeah. Which is. <laughs> we just get it. It just like, because <laughs> I feel like when you if you're to meet the love of your life, your soulmate, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. right? You'd feel something the first, even the first look, like mm-hmm. sometimes, like you know what I mean. There's something that will happen 
when you're together for like however long your date is mm-hmm. so one thing at least one thing will happen say like one thing will be said and you guys are gonna just gonna be like wait you know, you know what i really fucked with what jenna did on her first date when we went out to eat mm-hmm. she got a burger mm. mm-hmm. i really fuck with that yeah, that's dope she got a burger i like that she's not no yeah. mm-hmm. she ain't no pasta fucking salad what do you order on the first date um, I actually order whatever is the best thing on the menu. Okay, like I'm like, great. what's great. your like number one dish? I want it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And if it's messy, it's messy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah life yeah. is living. Whoever, whoever get a salad. You can have like, don't, don't. I I'm, think, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you with the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that stereotype might be dead though. The salad, no. Like, the sa- it's not salad nowadays. It's like anything that's not handheld. Like they'll get a pasta or they'll get something like maybe like a soup or some shit. It, it's not necessary. Mm. They won't get a burger because it's like, like you know, handheld, juicy. Hand. juicy mm. It's okay. you yeah, know, messy. You know, you know, yeah. you know if, if you really want to see if your girl is someone like to fuck with, you bring her to like a, like a raunchy ass, like messy ass spot, burger joint or some shit. And you, what did you say? Like you bring her to like some like. On know, a first date. On a first date, bro. Really? Like some like, like a bomb ass like burger joint. Okay. I'm telling you. Were you th- like Red Robin? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I really like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I like that. That's what I was saying. But then that also tells me, that also could leave a bad impression. Yeah, no, you don't want to bring, like, you gotta bring it to a nice place. Oh, come on. Great, okay. I'm not gonna be single yeah. for a while. Bring it to a nice place. Yeah. Ever, honestly. Yeah, that's real. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, what sparked between Janelle and I was she brought a family. Wait, you guys mm. aren't single? No, no, I don't. I, I just, taken. I just hit my forty. Why do we have this week? all single talk and you guys aren't single at all? Because like, it's interesting. We, we, were yeah. single, sorry, sorry, we were one single. A lot of you guys are single. I can still talk my shit. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was just so truthful. I was like, well, you guys must be also single. But well, no. it's also yeah. I, I just hit four years last week. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And I hit two years in March. Wow. So, mm. but I think Royce and I can, I, I can say for Royce that we've lived enough of a single life mm-hmm. to be able to comfortably talk about yeah absolutely like being yeah single. it was just mm-hmm. so truthful i was like you guys must be single <laughs> no so uh, janelle talked about family and family is really huge for me mm-hmm. and she brought it up on her own without me having to bring oh i really value family whatever whatever mm-hmm. she just brought up like all like talking about her siblings and all that stuff so that's what sparks me is because um because when i think long term and stuff and being mm-hmm. in a relationship i'm not marrying that person i'm marrying Mm-hmm. Her family, her cousins, her best friends. So yep. for her to nice. take care and consider that everyone else around her means something to her, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that lets me know that she takes care of the people around her as well, mm-hmm. outside yeah. of herself. Yeah. And so for me, like Royce, um, I'm, <coughs> I'm very much the person to like explore what else to see if they could spark something else in me that isn't seen on the first date. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's what, that's more me. So you would give it a second chance? Yeah, let's just see what else. Because like, let's say second chance, they, they might do something else. Oh, wow, didn't it, you, you didn't do that the first time. Mm-hmm. There's some bad first dates, bro. Yeah. People have bad first dates. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Just to get the jitters out of the way. Maybe the first one was just, yeah. I don't know. I think personally, I, I might just work too fast paced. Mm-hmm. But if things mm-hmm. don't know. happen, like if I'm gonna say, it, but if I'm bored too long, I'm moving on. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So you're not, you're not, not gonna dwell stay. on whatever it could have been. You're just like, okay, like well, this didn't work out now, so it's not gonna work out later. No, it's well. I don't think it's that. It's, I don't it's think it's just, like it, it's not gonna work out ever. It's, it's just, just it like, didn't work out right now. So yeah. why am I spending time on this? Exactly. So, yeah. 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 Right person, wrong time. I don't even know about right person. It's just like. What do y'all think about that? Right person, right person wrong time? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and they're okay. done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's 100%. It's kind of sad. Yeah. 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 Maybe it's just wrong person. Huh? Maybe it's just wrong person. I think, but if you're in that situation, you know that you think that it's the right person. Right? Maybe, but so, if, yeah, but if it didn't work out, maybe it's just the wrong person. No, but that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, if that situation ever came, that's why you're saying that phrase. Mm-hmm right person mm-hmm. at yeah. time because it just just things right. weren't matching oh, wow. up yeah. the way that you wanted it to mm-hmm. but you still could see a future with them 100 you know? yeah. yeah but maybe that's just wrong person bro see this guy is always yeah. I'm, 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 I'm telling him maybe you know, just no, no, be no, the wrong person because i have met someone and i it was never with them i had met someone that i genuinely was like I know my my actual soul is very connected with you, mm-hmm. but you're in a 
long term relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't I can't pursue you. Mm-hmm. Right person, mm-hmm. wrong time. Wrong. Not wrong person. It's just the wrong person. Okay. Well we'll agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like we'll agree to disagree. You see where I always fight. Bryce this likes the start. Me shit. and him are always on opposite sides. So what's of the so what's next? <laughs> We're like, just that's why I'm here. I'm just in the middle. I level head both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah That's why Raj is here. He's just always. I would not like being the media. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just a community. I'm just a lover. Oh, oh, you love that. Lover, yeah, not okay. a fighter. Yeah, yeah, I take that personality. Yeah, sometimes yeah. that personality <laughs> test. Yeah. I'm, I'm a debater. That's my thing. Oh, I know. Yeah, we yeah. know. Yeah, we know that too. You guys, is a side note. You guys see that little Keanu Reeves thing where he's like, he's in an interview. He's like. Are you a lover or you fighter? And then the person next to him is like, oh, I'm a lover. But he's like, no, but you gotta be a fighter because if your love's not worth fighting for. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. 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 All right, man. I think we should just wrap it up. This shit's been going on for a minute. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. fine, bro. I have a question for all of okay, you. Okay, you can last yeah, question. Yeah, you can last question. Okay, it's, it might be lengthy, but it's not. Nah, go for it. Fuck it. In this current, in this current place in your life, Mm. What do you feel like your purpose is? My purpose. And it can be, it can be general. It can yeah, why are you looking at me, you stupid? Yo? <laughs> no, I just want to know your answer because we're always on different shits. Well, my purpose. Why? Why do I go first, bro? Raj is over here. You want to the debater? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, man. So you. I need time to debate to get the topics. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll, I'll kick it off. Okay. Um, my purpose, I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and whatever it is, it'll come in the timing that I need it to be. Mm. And um, I know for this moment, I, I may not know what it is, but I'm going to keep working towards figuring okay. out what it is. Yeah. Mm. And I, honestly, sometimes it's scary to know what your purpose, or oh, like no. what your, I don't know how to say it. It's scary to not know your purpose mm-hmm. because yeah. you feel like everything you're doing is meaningless. Yeah. Mm. And I battle a lot with that in my head. Like, dang, why am I waking up at four in the morning to go to the shift and return? Yeah. Or like, why, why am I like doing this right now? Like, yeah. why am I here? Or why, why am I doing X and Y and Z? Yeah. Is it for ABC? But really, like, it's just to do it to figure out one day that it's all coming to a purpose. Yeah. And purpose, I, I, I find purpose, the word is like love because it's always changing. Mm. And I never can define it in one way. And I always seem to redefine what purpose and what love is. So I'm always yeah. searching to whatever it could be. This is why we have Rigel, guys. Love that. This is why I, we have Rigel. I think that self-work is so um, valuable mm-hmm. and it's so important to you. Mm-hmm. If you had a... Okay, now another question. The side mm-hmm. question for us. Go ahead. What in where in your life do you feel like you are living in you like where in certain moments do you were like wow this i feel like really myself right now and this is this feels so natural um to me. i don't think there's ever been a constant moment i think they're in they're like fleeting moments I'm okay yeah i'm giving you a hug yeah because they're in fleeting <laughs> moments there are like little seconds or in like milliseconds of which life is what? that which is what like when like being on stage when mm-hmm. i can I, i'm with people that i love yeah, and yeah. you just hear like the crowd is screaming mm. that 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 fleeting moment or yeah. when i have gloves on and i'm just mm. like in my zone yeah. and like it's just me and the, i'm like a maestro of my own chaos mm-hmm. yeah um like in moments where i get to growing up be the older brother to carry my younger sisters mm-hmm. and look at them like wow this is mm-hmm. preparing me for a father mm-hmm. to be a father mm-hmm. one day and it struggles right now, but I'm looking yeah. at like a yeah, future child. So it's not fully, it's not it's fully. Not, that I know what you're saying, bro. I know exactly so, what you're saying. Yeah. So, okay, so now that, I mean, those moments are also really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Would you want to live in those more? Or are you completely content with having them be fragments? See, that's where I, that's where I battled. It's because yeah. like, is life always meant to be little spurts of moments? Mm-hmm. Or am I def- like created to, to experience that feeling for... The rest, Forever. yeah. I want to create my life mm-hmm. so those moments Plus. is my everyday second. Exactly, and that's that's what's tough because everyone's put in a different position. I can't with you. This guy, right? I can't. This guy, yeah, keep going, keep going. That's everyone's placed in a position that has forced them to react in the situation they mm-hmm. placed them. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm tended to a garden that only spurts tomatoes. Mm-hmm. But you're, you're placed in a garden that feeds mangoes <laughs> Yo, and dragon fruit. It's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? I actually could not follow at all. Can you? Yeah. So what, you what, what, I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, what I'm yeah. saying is that 
there's there's an old video okay mm -hmm. of people of kids students in a line and mm -hmm. the teacher asks if you were raised in a home take two steps forward yeah yeah i saw that video mm -hmm. yeah it's very similar to that no, yeah and that doesn't mean everyone isn't dealing with different situations in the back end that have placed them in that situation mm -hmm. but it's how like like the moments that really define you is what you do afterwards and so in this case yeah. like i'm all the things that i'm experiencing is very fleeting and i want what you're what you want mm -hmm. but my situation has put me in a place that my priorities need me in a situation that i cannot focus on that at this current moment mm -hmm. even though i would love to be able to dedicate my time effort and love to be able to work towards creating that mm -hmm. you can correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. and i might be making a judgment mm -hmm. is that based out of fear it's the it's based out of not being able to do what's right why because if i choose one yeah if i choose i i have to choose i'm always in a fork uh, always in the fork like uh, I understand, I understand. Like, you gotta choose this or this because i i'm always having to let go of certain things that are also very important to me and it doesn't scare me because i'm prepared as a man i'm prepared to remove myself from a situation that i no longer need to be in right and right. i'm okay with that but the people that i leave behind are also or situations like they need me there to be able to survive and like to, yeah. to be taken care of and whatnot. So, so why are you living life for other people? Mm. I, think it just, I think living... it just comes down to responsibility. That's, yeah, I love to say that, yeah. Because Rigel, ha I feel like, honestly, out of us three... I don't know, three, I don't know your oh, that's okay. story. No, that's yeah, okay. I, I feel like out of us three, Rigel has a lot of responsibility. Yeah. 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 There's no, honestly, yeah, yeah. but the circumstances that he's going through right now, I feel mm -hmm. like there's certain sacrifices that Rigel has to sacrifice mm -hmm. in, in terms to, to care for another thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in, in light of, like, maybe it's like one day not being able to box because you have to go take your, care of your younger sister, mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it all, all goes back to the whole can access be friends. I, re, I bring that back up. The reason why is because I'm placed in the position that my experiences have caused me to react in a different way mm -hmm. because of what I've been experiencing. Same mm -hmm. thing with these guys. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I have different things and different life experiences these guys haven't gone through or these guys have been through that I haven't yet that I need to take care of because this is what I have to take care of. Mm -hmm. Is it? I wow, thank thank mm -hmm. you. Because I do feel like Magic there's crazy. a part of you to share yeah. and I acknowledge that that was really, really yeah. vulnerable. Um is there a world where you leave all your responsibilities? Uh mm. I will say that's a fantasy. Because I, so I, I it just can't happen. I just I at this I'm curious to know at this moment at this moment I can't. But okay. I okay, would totally. if it was if the world was created by me. I would have mm -hmm. left it a long time ago. Yeah. But is so your like world? Yeah. But okay. But then I, don't I think question. Else mm -hmm. Go ahead. No. I'm really just yeah, picking no, at your brain. Okay. <laughs> what about the fact that you do? I like in my and I can't compare us. Mm -hmm. It's because Abby left when she was younger. Yeah. I like. What about the idea where you create your own world? Why are, mm -hmm. you're not at the mercy of anyone? Or, mm -hmm. But I. But again, it's responsibility. So no, no, like no. they're. Very no, I, I'm, I'm you, glad so. that you, you challenge it because it yeah. allows me to look through life in a different lens that you're giving me. Yeah. And I'm appreciative of that. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question is, um, now I'm learning to coincide with both. Mm -hmm. I'm learning to day by day, one day at a time, one step mm -hmm. at a time, one foot at a time, to be able to take care of my priorities but still live a life of my own that I can say, that's mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's still okay. a struggle and it's a journey yeah. and it's something that I take on every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to have these guys along with me to yeah. su support me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's something that I'm working towards now. So yeah. that, that's that's yeah. actually So it'll question. come soon. It, it'll come yeah. soon. It's just, it takes time. It, it's it, doesn't, time. it doesn't happen like overnight and yeah. I understand that. I, yeah, purpose so. is a hard one. Yeah, yeah. So purpose is like, well, we just, we should, it's always But there are habits that prohibit you that. from finding it. Yeah. So that's why I was digging. But it sounds like there's there's a lot more. There's a lot of things that, <laughs> that I actually But I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you challenged me though. I'm appreciative. Yeah, appreciate it, so. absolutely. Yeah. Who's next? That's <laughs> good. Hmm. What? Uh, Royce, what's your... You guys want to you wanna do it? I can do a little short one. You can do a little short one. Are we pushing time? Well, I'm just going to no, say, I, I'm just going to say, I don't, I don't 
know. You know. You don't know your purpose. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm 23 yeah. years old. Like, <clears throat> honestly, anyone that has their purpose figured out, both like before 20, you are, you know, amazing. <laughs> you must have. <laughs> you you are figuring out life very very. I want to hear your purpose first before after verses. Yeah. Yeah. You, I don't know, like, you are figuring out life very, very early, mm -hmm. and I guess you have experienced a lot more things than I have, mm -hmm. but again, I, we, I, like, for myself, I am, like, first gen here with mm -hmm. my family, so, like, I feel like the only purpose that I have right now is being able to raise the many generations on my back, whatever foundation I yeah. live here now. It's true. So that's the only thing that I've been focusing on for the last couple of years, and I don't believe that's my purpose. Mm -hmm. I don't believe my life mm -hmm. is to only raise mm -hmm. my grandchildren, great great grandchildren, yeah. just because of the successions that I do now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that was also ingrained in you. One hundred percent. Yeah, Asian yeah. culture is, yeah. is yeah. always you know like grow up successful and, and then provide for your family when yeah. everyone gets yeah. old. Or also not just Asian, any immigrant family. Yeah, one hundred percent, especially. Mean, like both my parents yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, well for me like and and Rajo and Maris, yeah. we share very similar stories first generation here like you have a lot riding on your back yeah. you know, especially especially Maris and Rajo since they're being the oldest they are setting the standards for all their for siblings, siblings yeah. below them mm -hmm. right for me totally. I'm, I'm the yeah. youngest and I feel like my two siblings haven't amounted to um, the, the amount of greatness that I can amount to, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm carrying the weight of the financials right. of my parents, my yeah. brother, my sister, all on my back yeah. until I die, until exactly. I'm in the grid, mm -hmm. you know? That's mm -hmm. my legacy is being mm -hmm. able to build the house for other people to live in, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah, that's I, not your purpose. That's not that's my not purpose. Your purpose though. And, and that's why I still don't know my purpose, you mm -hmm. know? Like, there's yeah. certain things, like Roger said, there's very small fragments of life that, will give me this certain happiness and like the glimpse of purpose yeah. like doing a podcast yeah. or like mm. saying like you know like honestly yeah. like doing anything very creative like mm -hmm. dancing, dancing. Right? show me the very small fragments yeah. of, of my purpose stage, until yeah. until i close that door mm -hmm. you know like i don't dance anymore so like now where my creative outlook is is now this podcast mm -hmm. and that's what i've been putting my effort into and my energy into mm -hmm. you know and then also like my investments and stuff that's stuff that i enjoy doing mm -hmm. but yeah. that's not something like investments is money and i don't want money to control my life from mm -hmm. here on out you know what i'm yeah. saying i odd i'm just gonna say this i oddly got actually really stressed why i don't know I just got so stressed when you were talking. <laughs> why? Because I think, actually, I think I know why. But yeah, that's so interesting. Why did you get stressed? I got stressed because. Um, Is it like a, you feel a pressure? No, it's like. Are you living for you? Honestly, I'm gonna tell you, sure, I'm probably not. Yeah, I think that's why. I and. Got yeah, you, you. yeah honestly yeah. but that's like so, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I no honestly but that's precious. like that's that's something it's good I to understand yeah, though. yeah no i, I know i know i know every every decision that i'm doing right now and everything yeah. that i'm i'm leading up into my career and stuff like that i yeah. know i'm not doing it for myself 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. and like and and i get that it's really bad yeah, but at the same time but i also have so? like there's there's certain responsibilities yeah. that yeah. i can't let go of exactly. no, totally. exactly. and yeah. there's no like i it's it there's no bad there's no shame like mm -hmm. i don't want you to feel a type of way mm -hmm. it's just like time's gonna pass mm -hmm. and, and then you're you're and in then your you're 30s old. yeah 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 and then yeah. you in your 40s and then you're in your 50s and mm -hmm. then you're like yo can i die like that yeah. like when yeah. am i gonna start choosing me mm -hmm. in my life? that's the thing but the stuff that i'm doing now i'm actually starting to enjoy so good mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. Yeah. like the things it's that so i was cool. very scared of when i was younger and talking about money yeah. and stuff like that yeah and not, and living paycheck to paycheck when mm -hmm. i was in high school yeah. early yeah. up until like my 19s mm -hmm. and yeah. that was very scary for me yeah you know? and and talking about money being very open about my financial status with yeah. people is mm -hmm. very very scary yeah mm -hmm. you know and, and who knows like maybe I'm that pretty, grows into your yeah. For the purpose. Yeah, know, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty Absolutely. sure a lot of people are very insecure about how much money they make and compared to other people. Yeah. yeah. But for me now, leading up until like I'm 23 now, so like mm -hmm. three years after my 20s, I'm, I'm very comfortable where I'm at. I'm yeah. very comfortable with talking to people about yeah. what they should do financially mm -hmm. and how they can build this and that, you know, mm -hmm. how they can start an empire now before they're 60 and be millionaires by yeah. their 60. Like that time. is phenomenal. Yeah. 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 But, but that's not my purpose. <laughs> but it could, it could it, grow I, into 100%. I think, it could to some extent, yeah. I think to some extent it's what you contribute yeah. and that is like a yeah. sliver of like what you contribute to this world, yeah, which yeah. is purpose, right? For real. 
Yeah. Especially at your age, right? It's like something true. that like you can teach other people mm -hmm. around your age or younger. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I'm saying, bro, get a financial episode, bro, and knock y'all all up into fucking shit. I, can I be there for that? Because I would love to. Be an audience, yeah. Be an audience member. Yeah, we'll talk. About <laughs> <laughs> I'll be okay, there. I'll just listen. Fine, I'll just listen. I'll be you, bro. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I want to hear Abby's first. I'm really, I just really curious. That's a, oh, that's a grand finale, right? There. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Then you can go last. Uh, I can go. Okay, okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You go. I'll go first. Um, okay, Grace, need more time to think. <laughs> I okay. I'm as a curious. preface, I, I think I think in what kind of combines all of us together probably is um, I think your purpose is ever changing. Sorry, I have a purpose, but I also know that it, it can change. Oh, like new things are gonna come into your life yeah. that also mm. fuels you. That also is so exciting. Yeah, so like, true. I think it's ever evolving as we are ever evolving, mm, yeah. right? I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <Should> I, <laughs> I love it. Um, I I feel like I have so many purposes. I feel like I like when I teach, I yeah. genuinely love sharing and connecting yeah. with students mm -hmm. and like helping your students grow. And helping my students grow and yeah. like I love choreography. Like I love creating art mm -hmm. and then sharing it with people like yeah. that is a part of my soul that mm -hmm. you are digesting mm -hmm. yeah. and then learning from like yeah. that concept blows my mind people take it home people, people like, take it talk home. about people you talk, people talk oh, even regardless it's just like what came from my own taste as an artist is something that you actually are ingesting right? yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um yeah like people are taking they enjoy it. their day they enjoy it you. and they yeah. come back every week yeah exactly yeah. and, and, and even day. like some people some people's personalities are shaped by teachers. Like, I don't know whose student, like how many of my students are like, there are some things you do that actually like personality wise, like I latch on to, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I also feel like a purpose of mine is to, I would love to work up to a place where my artistic taste contributes to culture. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it, I really would, I am going to choreograph for the Super Bowl one day, and I Dude, feel like that. that shit. Oh, absolutely. You're already here first, guys. Absolutely. Which when you do that, that and not, come back I on the podcast. Just, <laughs> and then bring us like, on. I, in my career, would would love to do something like that because mm. not even for like the amount of range that it like mm. goes to people, but people who choreograph for Super Bowl, that work becomes history, and that work yeah, shapes culture. Up. And like yeah, what you true. put out there, people are like, I don't know why, but... When I see, like, body, or the body, yada, yada, like, mm -hmm. the stallion, and you think mm -hmm. about how Jaquel's choreography literally became a TikTok, became this, yeah. became that, and people know the choreography, I'm like, mm -hmm. that yeah. is phenomenal. Just like Wild phenomenal. Side. Wild like, Side. Just like Wild Side became a thing, and everybody started doing it. Like, yeah. you were like, literally contributing yeah. to culture, and, like, yeah. how people go about their day. I don't know, something about that is just so epic. Yeah. Um, awesome. But yeah, I think I just, I I know, I'm always learning who I am, but through mm -hmm. knowing who, who I am, I know what I have to offer mm -hmm. this world mm -hmm. that's different than anyone, which yeah. all of you have something to offer that's different than each other. Mm -hmm. And like, how do I harness that and, and share, share and, and, like, yeah. and like give? And mm -hmm. how do mm -hmm. you see me for my soul? And like, mm -hmm. wow. that that is... <laughs> Yeah, it might. Per I think it's again. It's ever. It's ever evolving. But mm -hmm. in this moment, like Crazy, sharing man. parts of me is yeah. like so special. Damn. Yeah. Alright, bro. It's you now. What is you wanted this, right? It's so the it's last finale, bro. Last yeah. statement. No, that's crazy. Cause like, yo, me and Abby, bro. <laughs> We on We're it. We're on the same page. Same page. Let's go. Everything she said, I resonated with. Let's it. go. Right. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I'm just saying, like, same thing, like. For me, I feel like my purpose currently um, is has a lot to do with the podcast, mm. um, building a culture around the podcast, so helping good. others learn, mm -hmm. um, you know, just from our experiences mm -hmm. and being able to share with everyone. Like that's that's huge, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we ever, if we get big, when we get big, when, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it will just it will grow and like the audience will grow and like, you know what I mean? That's just me being able to share more mm -hmm. with like more people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
aside from the podcast, um, definitely I find a purpose in being like, uh, like a role model for my sisters, Mm -hmm. like huge thing. Yeah. Um, another thing is, so free South Friday is coming back. Sue you know what that is. Um, it's not an open thing, so like it's like mm-hmm. kind of invite only. Mm-hmm. But Can with that invite? thing, I'm um, organizing it with Kelvin, and I I'd love to push people's like creative boundaries. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like I feel like my purpose there would just be doing that. Mm-hmm. And you know, what I mean? like that's something that like. I feel like I can I can do mm-hmm. you know what I mean and like yeah. just like be able to share with everyone yeah yeah like just how like Abby teaches class mm-hmm. it's the same thing like people will go out and like they they take something from it yeah mm-hmm. and then it's like damn like these guys are learning and yeah. they're even maybe telling other people what they mm-hmm. learned yeah. about yeah. It, you know what I mean yeah absolutely so shit like that um the whole like culture thing mm-hmm. like that's just it's basically back to the podcast back to yeah. The, the freestyle thing like it's the same thing like I want that I want to like make a like my own culture bro. So you good. know what I'm saying like yeah. mm-hmm. like oh yo you know like Marius like he does this or he does that mm-hmm. yeah. and like being on board with that wow. and like teaching other people the same shit that I taught them mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah like, like that's crazy to me like when like mm-hmm. a group of people is like listening to you and they want to listen to you mm-hmm. and they're yeah. like they're like, yo, this guy's on some different shit. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what I, I want to be on. Yeah, that's so. fine. Yeah. I respect that, bro. That yeah, cool. I think it's so important, too, to, like, acknowledge it and speak it. Mm-hmm. Because that resonates differently yeah. than just, like, than it just being thoughts or, like, yeah. wishy-washy. Like, yeah, speaking it and being clear with it. Mm-hmm. I think... Um, it manifests way better. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for sharing. Thank you all yeah, for sharing. No of course. Yeah. We want to sign off here. We had an amazing, like, really in-depth conversation. We went like left, right, up, yeah. down, yeah. Uh, sideways. I was, I was, this was probably um like one of those episodes. If you if you guys are watching till this point, mm-hmm. you know that like this, this was, was a good one. This was a good one yeah. in terms of like there's so much different types of information mm-hmm. that you can learn from all of us, mm-hmm. and it, it allowed not only as your hosts to 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 show you different perspectives of who we are. But mm-hmm. it gives us a chance to dive deeper with mm-hmm. a guest and mm-hmm. Abby Chung and picking her brains and being able yeah, to give me, her Me and input. Roger don't really know Abby that much, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. yeah. Really so I guess know. this is kind of like a, like our first guest is kind of like out of... Out of your know. bubble? Yeah, kind of, I yeah. guess. Well, yeah, sort of. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. And like, Jeez. Is there anything else that you want to let the audience know or your students any know? Shout outs, any shout outs, shout outs or like... Um, where they can find Promoting you. Promoting yourself. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. ass. Yeah. I mean, TikTok, I whatever. You got. Any challenge. words of wisdom, whatever. Last little bit. Um, words of wisdom. Just do you, boo. Do you. Do you. <laughs> do you. Follow her, Abby Chung, uh-huh. Instagram. Yeah. All that. It'll be in the description. Yeah. So you know where if, to go. If you watch this, you can comment that in the comment down below. Do you, boo. Mm-hmm. Do you, boo. That's how you know. Comment That's it. How we know. Please. You That's how you know. Please. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me. Because I don't know. <laughs> I gotta know who the real, know real, who ones, real are. ones are. Exactly. Or when we when we post uh, like our thumbnail post, let us know. Comment on our post yeah. too. Do you boo? Yeah. Exactly. Stay engaged with us. Do yeah. you boo? Period. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to sign out here? It's your boy Rigel. It's your boy Marius. Royce. And it's Abby. Thanks for chopping it up with us. Peace. 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 What? Whoa. So what's the moves? What are the moves tonight? Honestly. I think Abby got to teach us a little piece. Ooh. Oh, I would love that. We're, we're going to learn a piece from Abby now. That's the move. So You back seat on my mind, I'm still so solo. My life hard to define, so I ride solo. Waiting still my game. I-